We're live. I rolled a one, so no. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah, man! What a t- what a time, what a time, what a session last time, huh? <laughs> yeah, Trey, time. Trey got to join us. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Playing Luke Heartless. Um, in the last game, a few a few notable things happened. A few. Um, <laughs> we'll just start, I guess, chronologically, because it's the easiest way to track. That's you guys nice. went back to the Resident Evil style. Sorry, blood. residential evil. Yeah, residential <laughs> evil uh, harvest factory, essentially. And while there, um, I will skip through the, the killing of another kid, but um, you. <laughs> I, did, I did it that time. That. Sorry, uh, y'all. Inevitably, kids ain't safe, but the, the, the wolven pack arrived shortly <laughs> after, and you guys That's went fine. down. <laughs> And you guys went down the staircase, the spiral, large spiral staircase going into this cavern uh, where you found cages full of people, sucked dry, blood sucked dry. No, you said what you said. <laughs> they were very satisfied in their cages. And of the most, of the most satis- <laughs> satisfied was uh, Luke Heartless, who you ran into and, and freed him almost immediately. Um, and he said, I'll take you to the vampires because fuck these guys and you said yeah let's, let's do that <laughs> um, and he took you directly to the leader of the sort of scientific side of this which was Anala Bexley <laughs> <laughs> and Anala um, sort of freely gave up a lot of information after some kind of soft prying not a lot um, but yeah, you tried to knock her out. That didn't work. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, funny. oopsie daisy. Yep, super funny. And then, um, well, in a unique turn of events, after ironically, after Cornelius left, um, she got to meet a god. She got to meet Freya, and not only did she get to meet Freya, but Freya found her cause just, and granted her a scepter that had golden inlays and had this vibrant glow to it and told her this is a this is essentially a, a, a celestia tuned planar traveling scepter um, and again the celestia in my world is called Manas Karel so they she wants to go there to essentially ask the gods or negotiate with the gods to be able to change the timeline. Um, she's been experimenting with it for 2,000 plus years, and she's found that she can pluck and move people around, and it doesn't change anything. She wants to change things. Um, so she needs to talk to the people who created time to figure out how to change things for the betterment of her family, as she says. Um, well, after getting the scepter from Freya, she went full on under underworld mode and was ready to go fuck up some vampires. Um, and you guys ran down, you ended up fighting in the sea of combat uh, between this epic battle of vampires and werewolf. Um, like the wolfbanes were jumping all over, howling, screaming, the vampires were throwing and, and scratching and biting, and Kedrin was on a perch ledge watching until you all showed up and decided to get him involved. Um, but eventually, you guys were over, able to essentially overtake him, even with the mind control of Luke Heartless. Um, through the combat, you lost your companion, Callan, um, who was fully killed um, and thrown off a ledge. And once combat kind of settled, you were able to bring him back due to a successful revivify ritual. Clearly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I succeeded, that's all that matters. An absolute, an absolute without a doubt, successful ritual. <laughs> uh, you guys went up on top of the platform, went through the hidden rock door um, that you saw Kedrin's ashes, not ashes, his mm-hmm. mist form flow into, and all of you, plus Anola, 
went inside. Uh, once you were inside this contraption, this, this server room with these machines, you saw his coffin. You opened it up. He looked real messed up. Looked at you all and pressed the button. Um, that button sent you all back to what you experienced at the very end of the session, which was you're in the dinosaur world. Yeah, there's this guy in a white suit down there, like <laughs> do, filming a promo. Um, yeah, but Jurassic, Triassic. we all start back right here. Uh, a few notable things happen before we kick off the role play part of it. Um, uh, you all leveled up to level nine. Uh, Melacroft, as you guys, as you all feel a little bit more powerful in this place. <laughs> You all watch Melacroft, who has this armor-built physique, right? This war-forged. You're watching, and it's and it's been dented and scratched, and throughout the combats, you watch it like essentially start to shine and sheen over, and it and his armor starts to take a different color. You all watch as Melacroft, while standing here, he still has his purple sash around his neck, but his armor starts to become this soft rose gold, all the way up and down, looking freshly forged and pristine. Freshly made by Apple. (laughs) (laughs) New Melacroft Rose Gold Edition. Yeah, (laughs) he's got the MagSafe cover and everything. Um, You got that warranty on the back? 512 or (laughs) 1-2. And Melacroft. Or Cody, this is why I said you're not going to like this session. Um, oh, God. You also level up to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Only in your oath of forgiveness. Okay. So I got to <laughs> whoop back. So I got to like rewrite everything? No. You can keep your three levels of sorcerer, or I don't know what you did after yeah. that. You can keep those three levels, but you'll go 17 levels of... <laughs> the <feminine>. Yeah. <laughs> Why would he not like that? Because he was complaining about having to choose spells for one level. No! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. <laughs> and you guys are all watching... Okay. You're watching Melacroft as he's trying to choose spells. Uh, but as you're watching Melacroft, I'll see you guys at the end metal the change, his, his, his configurement change, and it becomes like, there's like this glow around him as he essentially ascends to this new level of being. All of you are seeing this, and Anola is not paying attention to that at all. Uh-huh. She, is, she is deep in some of the computers. You see her sort of like type. You guys have never seen a computer? Of course. But she is typing into this yeah. machine and seemingly like frantically trying to figure out what's going on, why you're here. Um, but all of you are all f- probably focused on that. Yeah. Maybe not you. you. Maybe you don't give a shit. <laughs> I would, uh, 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 <laughs> Internally, Melacroft's like, I have so many D10s to roll. <laughs> <laughs> you look very pretty with this new pink. Uh, Honestly, it looks a little militant. I don't know. Fucking narc. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I I just fought in that battle with everyone else. I didn't do anything. You have been around me literally the entire time. Do you I, feel okay? <laughs> it's still cold. I feel <laughs> better than I felt since I woke up like this, I guess. It's hard to explain. Do we see skin in between little metal plates? He's still. He's still armor. It's almost. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> almost gets that way there. <laughs> hmm. I'll let you guys <laughs> poke around a little more in the sandbox before just giving you the answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is interesting, but. The color's pretty tacky. I'll I mean, something different. I can see a giant monster through the window at the moment. I you think know. that the pink looks good on him, especially with the purple. Can you do more go-go arm things? I don't know if that's any different. I'm going to try to, like, 
grab something or just, just cast the arm out. It's the same thing. That yeah, hasn't yeah. changed. You need to go talk to your boy for that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's still the same. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure what has changed. Um, Is this Freya's doing? Perhaps. Uh, we did contact her today. <laughs> <laughs> the question mark. In the year yeah. four. She did talk directly to you. Uh, did she say that she would give you more powers, or change you to pink? <laughs> but if she says pink, I just think he's like neon pink. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good shade on you. <laughs> right. The thick uh, purple. It's nice. Thank you. Um, Brings out the colors lacking in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of a cool tone <laughs> individual. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is uh, having contacted Freya recently, but I mean, my mission is to find and forgive the people that have crossed her, the Astral Brotherhood, and so are we in the future or are we in the past and everyone's dead? Is uh, Kedron... Because <coughs> if he succeeded in his mission then everyone's forgiven because they're all dead. You know. Is Analyssa with us? Yeah, she's on the okay. computer. She's, so oh, that's right. Um, she's doing what Shade's doing right now. She's is dead. Kedron's body still there? Or did it like yes. ash away? It's still there. I want to... It Joe. is. It is increasingly decrepit. It looks more like mummified. But oh. I'm trying. Oh. You can do that. But I'm, I'm trying to check to see. <laughs> it's fun. I'm trying to check to see if there's a symbol of the astral you brotherhood. Have a tail? On them. I do. Have a tail. No. You should ask him a question. You got five tails though. <laughs> I am a five tail. <laughs> <laughs> fucked with his brain. He's like, wait a second. So there's a window going out and seeing, right? Or can we see outside? So remember how there was that rock door that you guys, yeah. like she found the button and opened? There's no rock door now. It's just an open cave entrance. Okay. But instead okay. of there being that platform and uh, a cavern that you have to climb stairs up, you guys are actually now up high. Um, and you're seeing the top of, like, treetops. I mean, mm -hmm. you're hundreds of feet above the treetops. Is there any platform still out? Well, not platform, but, like, rock face still out? Or is it just, like, drop? Like, drops. Yeah, can I peek my head out? Can I see anything like clearings or uh, I guess more dinosaurs or oh, yeah. like I'm looking for civilization. Yeah, you see. <laughs> <laughs> you got a whole host of select pterodactyl. You see, pterodactyl. Yeah, you, see, <laughs> you see these giant winged beasts with Rider. with yeah with yeah can Ryder hit the sub end oh, for me real quick. Oh. Um, it's it's pterodactyl, but it's spelled with a P. I don't know. Um, <laughs> huh? Did you say pterodactyl? I'm pretty sure that's not a P. Um, but there's you know red ones. Um, there's red ones. <laughs> just triceratops. There's, there's, there's a pink one. That there's you there's see an abundance. Watch. There's an abundance of just different creatures. And, and being at this sort of up top view, looking down at all this, like you're seeing the trees move, and there's a big bitch. That's the that's the T Rex. Okay. You don't know what it's called, but it's a big boy. Okay. Um, but I will say, for everyone's kind of mindset, the Jurassic Park type of dinosaur that we've all sort of got in our head, imagine a more draconic version so of So like everything. scales? Yeah. Okay. Imagine a more draconic version of everything, okay. including the pterodactyl, including everything. Um, Do we see so, any actual like more stereotypical dragons in the end? Um, I, I don't know. Not not from this initial perch, I don't think. But for putting two and two together, you could probably figure out, like, knowing that you guys have... I don't think you fought a dragon in this campaign, but you, you fought, you the, fought the, white, the, the, young, phoenix. the young white dragons. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so yeah. You're, you're familiar with dragons. Um, mm -hmm. They definitely look like... This is the closest thing to those that you've seen. Okay. okay. Can I ask the lady, your, your mom, to be like... <laughs> You Do you know where or when we are with your thing here? <laughs> what are you doing? 
You listen very well. <laughs> Response is usually appreciated, though. And she she sort of looks up as she realizes that you guys are now talking to her. She's like, excuse me, what? Uh, what? what what's do up? you know where, when we are? I think I do, yes. We haven't moved location-wise. We're still on the, on the island, but... Um, it seems that we've gone back to the moment of the event. Um, uh, I'm just trying to figure out exactly when, because uh, I feel like that's very important um, as far as timing-wise. How, how if you follow me. What is the what event? event? Yeah, what event? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, the event is when Time Stone found its way to our planet in the form of a large space rock. Um, and all these beautiful creatures uh, will not be long for this world. Oh, that's great. We're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here now. <laughs> that's amazing. And I'm trying to decipher exactly, are we years yeah, before this happening? Okay. Are we years before this happening? Months, I days, wanna, minutes? Maybe we um, just go out there and ask Mi- them, hey, do you have minutes? any scientists I will say, I, I said, I, Kedrin was not the brains. Your father, correct me if I'm wrong. Look up. <laughs> you see a dragon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just like, no, I'm just an eye. Um, no, you. <laughs> you look up in this in this uh, uh, mountain. You're only maybe halfway up. This is a very high peak. Okay. So uh, millions of years, thousands of years. Like how many? I, I oh, was never mil- really good at history. Mi- millions, for sure. Millions of years. That's a lot of zeros on the Can end. Can we get back? Oh, no. Now's not the time for drinks. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I was <laughs> getting stuck. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think I learned that from? Um, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to figure out. If I think can get back? we can get back. But... The calibration must be exact, um, and that's why I'm a bit more concerned. Um, if we miss our jumping point, more to the point if we're early, Kedrin will have not died, oh. mm-hmm. and we are in here with him. Mm-hmm. You do not want to be close with Kedrin. Okay, that's fair. He is very happily dead right now, and I've never felt more myself. <laughs> um, but. My concern is if we don't come back to the moment that we left, and he comes and he's alive, um, I feel we won't have the benefit of the distraction of the rest of the war that we had the last time. Mm -hmm. That's fair. But if you'll just give me a few moments to work, I might be able to tell you how much time we have before the events. Because if we're here when the event happens, none of this matters. But... Um, me and Cornelius Senior um, built this arc to specifically move through time Um, and I made this button as a failsafe for Kedron if he ever felt his life was at risk to go back to this moment immortally And as you could imagine, after 65 million years, how powerful he might be. But we were here to kill him, so it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, (laughs) we're not immortal. So, we need to get back. But what if... It'd be crazy. This could have all been avoided if she just moved the button, like... Maybe a couple of feet outside the door. Well, like what foot. if we like, <laughs> like did needed, something like decapitated his body now? Would he come back if we moved back to the future? Mm-hmm. Oh, I you said it doesn't change anything when you move people around. We can't change. If I could change the timelines, then sure, but I can't. Uh. And then she looks at the scepter. She says, "Well, maybe I can." But this will be a last resort if the event happens while we are still here. We will stop distracting you so you can work. (laughs) (laughs) How far down is is like a 
enough to see, to walk on. Right? Um, I'd say about five hundred feet. <laughs> That's fireworks. No more. You're Was there any way to go like climb left or right, or is it just fucking straight down? Look straight down. Cool. Why don't you, Kendra? Um, I, I, why doesn't everyone give me a perception check? No. While you're all, <laughs> while you're all looking out. Yeah. Um, if you want to do a perception check, yes. Wait, <laughs> this isn't a passive thing. You're act. I'm okay. saying for those for those who are actively <laughs> looking, you don't have to actively <laughs> look. Then yeah, you don't have to roll because do you don't want to roll. I'll probably have it. <laughs> for now. That's why I screenshot all my stuff beforehand. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Also, Jack. I have one. Twelve. Fifteen. Uh, Thirty-one. Nice. Get back to me in five seconds. I was picking the spell. Sixteen. She's busy. Don't worry about her. Fifteen. Distracted. Don't worry. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Oh. Twenty-six. Twenty. Thank you. She's just glad that she got a fifth tail. She has a fifth tail now. I'm just trying to get a spell. Oh, so you got you got fifth level spells now. I do. Oh, level nine's exciting. It's always funny because when you're not playing a spellcaster, level nine seems like a fucking useless level. Right. Because you're like, you're like, oh, I just got ability score increase, and all my other stats happen at like ten and fourteen or whatever. But you forget, your buddies get strong. <laughs> <laughs> level spells are cool. Um, Cody, what did you roll for your perception check, sir? I didn't roll a perception check. Hey, do you mind rolling a perception check for me? Uh, sure. He's still... Just use whatever level you are right now. You're I got, I got I mean, Oh, yeah, you're good. got a massive system update? Yeah. It's going to yeah. take a long time. Yeah. 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 He's still down the update. Yeah. 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 He looks like he's getting warm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's getting level warm near him. Exactly. That's Eight. <laughs> level 20. No problem. Eight. Eight. Again, he's, he's like... Changed. Well, I haven't gotten to that yet. It's fine, it's I mean, fine. At 20... most, it would be an 11. <laughs> <laughs> if I put everything into that. Hey, it doesn't matter. The 26, I needed a 25 or higher, so oh, okay. thank you, Mandy. Um, thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. You're Isadora, as you're, as you're also looking out and you see all these curious new beasts and uh, probably some unique fauna that you're not used to, right? Um something catches your eye out in the distance. It looks, gosh, uh, it's hard to tell the distance from way up here and how far it is, but right around the horizon line of like how far you can see, uh, you see a soft pink glow, not too dissimilar to the armor that Melacroft is now adorned and wearing. Um, it's, it's almost like it's almost like when you uh, when you see like the reflection, but it's like it's like moving, so you just kind of mm-hmm. see it flash for a second, and it's like flashing that pink, but it's it's hard to tell distance. Mm-hmm. I'd say maybe it could be five miles, could be ten miles. Yeah. But it's within eyesight, so however far mm-hmm. I honestly don't know how far a human can see. So yeah, I'm like, either. it's like at the very edge. That's why it was a hard skill <coughs> check, but okay. you see it somehow. Hey, Millicroft. It looks like you out in the distance. Do you see it? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you see like Bender's yeah, ears. There's, 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 there's a pink glow that looks like your pink glow. Wait a second. This shell that I'm inhabiting was found underground in a fain. Um and we were trying to uncover what its purpose was and how long it had been there. And all we could really figure out before we were all killed is that it had been there a very long time. So, <clears throat> if I'm putting two and two together, my consciousness is from our present time, but my body seems to have reverted possibly to what it was at this point at the original that's a long time, long time which if there's a suit of armor from this time that means that there's people and there was 
means they're afraid. I'm not the only suit of armor or whatever I am. I'm not the only shell that was in that fame. There was another one. And Maybe that's what the pink glow is. If it looks similar to me, it might be similar to me. Damn. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is a statement. Hard 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 hard. Hard. I don't know if it's a suit of armor. I just know that it's a glow. You can't yeah. see that far. Yeah, but there's also a 500 foot drop right here. So we can well, fly that. We can, yeah. Careful. That's what I, yeah. If we can, if we can get off the ship that way. That's that's great the... for getting down. How are you gonna get back oh. up? Oh. I'd also fly. really like to get back to my time. <laughs> Nicola's gonna be waiting millions of years for us to return. Can I? Nicola's like... just a drop of water right now. <laughs> he's some. He's just a little bit. Of pee. He's just. A he's just. Pee. Pee. He's, he's just a thought of condensation. He's not even. <laughs> Uh, can I look around? Like, cause it, so you said that I know it's a steep drop down over here. When we look up or to the sides, are there ways to climb up and over? Are you looking else? within the cave or it's still outside? There? I'm looking outside the cave. So I'm like poking my head out and looking to see if there's a way down from where we are. There's definitely a way down. And Not gravity it. will teach you how I to do that. that. But <laughs> you don't see any sort of walkway. Can I rock climb it? You can, can fight. The, you can fight gravity's way to pull you down. Yeah. That's not what I asked. <laughs> is there like? Is there? Is what the you're gravity... asking is if you're if the dice will allow you, and I can't tell you. No, no, so no, I mean, like, is there? Is the? Is it? It's not rocky enough. Yeah, That's it's like a, yeah. You can definitely. And it's not. It's obviously not straight up and down. I mean, it's at a slope. Yeah. You can, you can take your time to climb down it. It would just require a certain amount of. Space. You know, skill checks and things. <laughs> so, yes, it is rock climbable. Whether or not you will rock climb it is, again, up to our good friend Gravity. Yikes. And around this time, Anola says, Well, um, everyone? Everyone? Yeah. She's like looking, everyone's like <laughs> clearly paying attention, and she's just like, <clears throat> Okay. Um, good news and bad news. The good news, of course, um, I can get us back. I can 100, I can 90, I can pretty certainly get us back. <laughs> um, essentially to the exact moment we left. Um, it's, I don't know why I didn't think, it's within the data logs of where we just left. Um, essentially it's the, it's the classic redial, if you will. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the bad news being that uh, well, I don't consider it too bad of news, I guess, but um, we have approximately two days, um, 48 hours before the event happens. So um, the good news is, is there's no urgent risk, um, but as long as we leave before 47 hours, we don't have to panic. Okay. So, there's a strong curiosity within me to <laughs> explore. Um, Do you have a way down? I figured we would just you know, fly. Well, some of us don't have that ability, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I apologize, I forgot not all of you can transfigure your body into a swarm of bats. Yeah. Isn't it also like pure sunlight outside? That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we have an extra cloak or something that you could wear. <laughs> I'm just saying cloaks and bats don't even She's gonna like sunlight. you're gonna you're gonna watch her walk up to where the like where the sun is kind of like that sun line made yeah. on the ground. She's gonna like walk up and do the do the classic slow Mm -hmm. And you're all gonna watch. You're gonna watch her like put her hand through, and she kind of looks back and puts it all the way in to the sun, and it glistens like it's sparkling. Oh <laughs> <laughs> and um, this is the skin of a no reaction. <laughs> this is the skin of a killer. <laughs> Mandy. She she says, "Hmm, that was my that was my theory. With Kedrin gone, I'm no longer." A full spawn. And then she's like, one second. I'm no longer 
any type of spawn. <laughs> at all? Oh. Uh, unless you're looking at a swarm of bats that I'm unaware of, I can no longer do that. <laughs> oh. Which sure. is clever and terrifying. And I really hope she pulls a scepter out, and I really hope this works, because I believe I've lost my immortality. Mm-hmm. And, um... I don't want to swear that away again. And she looks at Cornelius. I was harsh. I didn't feel like myself. And... Mm-hmm. I don't want to do that ever again. Mm-hmm. And now that I've lost your father... This is my one chance to do good. Like, genuine good. And it seems like now the clock is ticking on my life. I have a... For the first time in a millennia, I have an expiration date. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. And she puts it back in her cloak. Still doesn't solve our dilemma of... Getting down. We're 5,000 <clears throat> feet up in the air as far as I know. I definitely said 500. (laughs) I mean, you can see... So again, you can see the tops of the trees. And the tops of the trees are probably three to 400 feet down. Mm -hmm. And to your knowledge, trees are not 4,900 feet tall. (laughs) So you're probably close. Um, With that said, a leap of faith. Don't try to do the Avatar thing where you just jump off and hope you land on a big leaf. Um, (laughs) <laughs> but yeah. there may be ways to get down. I don't know. Maybe there requires some more exploration. What? I guess it's things we haven't really looked in the room. What is in this room? Are you know what ah, room? thank you, Adam. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I guess, I I guess in my room. head, the only thing was in this room was computers, and Kelly's like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Yeah. So well, I realized that's why I had to prompt because I was like, I was like, I'm realizing that they probably still think it's that exact same room, and it's right. like that all those machines are still there, but now it's a big, now it's a cavern that opens uh, up. Okay. You guys have just been so focused on the door, and I'm mm-hmm. like, just look the other way. Um, <laughs> so yes, the past the coffin. Right, okay. past the coffin where Kedron's body, again, is... It looks it looks zombified. I wouldn't say it's, like, ashed and decrepit completely, but it definitely looks like a dead body that died minutes ago would not get to this level of dehydration yeah. so fast. But he doesn't look to be getting any more gross. Um, he is gross. He's not getting any more... He's, he's not going gross. from mummification to skeletal to dust. Like, mm-hmm. you don't see that happening. Um, but you look past him and you see that this cavern seems to open up into like a long sort of <coughs> hallway of sorts. Um, and with those who have dark vision, like Anari and a th- I think just Anari, you do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just Anari. I know you had a lot of blind motherfuckers. Um, you can see about, about 60 feet past, um, even though there's no natural light, there's light coming in from, from the, the cave entrance. You can see that. Those stairs, do you guys remember those long, wide stairs? Those seems to have already been here. And those stairs have been cut in going down. Oh. Is there any other rooms? Is there any other chests? No, no. Boxes? No. I made this very straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is there anything else in Kedron's coffin or on Kedron that we didn't investigate? Make an investigation check. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, a one. So, so. Uh, his, body, his, body his body's still there. His body still there. I just want the loot from the box. Okay. Yeah, can we loot him? I just want the yeah, loot, we so. can dig through his body. I guess I'll get <laughs> shot through his body. Probably yeah. almost anything but a one is probably going to find I'll something. I'll go ahead and dig him. <laughs> I just like, I, I, I broke a bone. Oh my God. Yeah. Is that better? It is better. I'll Not try. A lot. I'll try. Uh, Investigation, yeah. you said? I can say that, yeah. Nope. <laughs> what do you so, mean, nope? It was a nine. It's still better than the six. We've made improvements. <laughs> you did Damn. not. I would have never guessed that leveling you guys up to level nine would mean. Shit. I just in, rolled in, in poorly. Rapidly, a one, a six, and a nine. We're trying um, to investigate to loot uh, Kevin's oh, body. Okay. We've got we a one, a six. Fourteen's and a nine. better. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We got a fourteen. Fourteen's not better. Excuse me. Uh, one second. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, yeah. While they're doing that, Melkar wants to wander towards the staircase and start looking for uh, 
any signage of Freya. Freya this way. If you if you're internally like <laughs> searching for a connection to Freya while you're looking around, that what she pointed out seems to be besides literally seeing Freya in the flesh. Yes. This is probably the strongest connection you've had. Well, I mean, like, I'm trying to see if I see any iconography. Like, <clears throat> say I was in a fane. Not in here. Okay. You're not in a fane right now. <laughs> We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> um, you should go towards the globe, I mean, if we can find a way down there, mm -hmm. but... Oh, my God. Did someone roll investigation on Kendrick? Yeah. We did. Yeah. We have a one, six, nine, Yeah, he 14. did. I just cannot. So I put together a couple of fun what, items. What and I, I cannot, I can't find where I saved them. So I'm trying to like look up where I found <coughs> the link and I'm just not finding it. So I'm it sorry, guys. One second. Well, you've got to lay it flat, Bob. <laughs> well, I feel like that's cheating. That's 14. Wait, are we looking for something? We're, we're trying, to, trying to loot his body, but we're trying to loot his body. None of us have been able to do it. Fifty. That's good. <laughs> God. That's the only thing I'm good. Do you want to try to loot his body? I really just wanted to roll higher than one. <laughs> so. No, but at this point, I don't think the investigation. When he has a really cool necessary. sword, you can't say that you want it. But who's got? <clears throat> I want a really cool sword. You're looting his body. <laughs> And you got well, he's breaking his bones right yeah, now. Yeah, he, he <laughs> fucked that up. You know Are you guys going to do the speak with Dad? Or was that not I, I can. You want to I'm not saying to do it. I'm just saying, like, I heard you say, I yeah, don't know sure if you want. I'm just saying before you snap all of his bones. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> oh, he's going to do that. Keep snapping. <laughs> he said keep snapping. <laughs> um, do we want to, you know, take a rest or something? Yeah, I would love a short rest. No, we're good. Do you want to talk to the body? Do you want to talk to the body? I'll say, listen, I'll be generous. I think I'm gonna to switch to the I, like the mindset of when you do a when you level up you get a long rest because oh, that just makes God. it so much easier. So it's kind yeah. of lame. Okay, you I get all this sense of new power, but you can't fucking rest. use it yet until you sleep. That's stupid. I don't like that I was doing that. I didn't like I didn't like who I was when I was I sleeping. Don't like who I was. <laughs> long rest. So yeah, Yay. go ahead and click that long rest button, but you obviously don't have to, especially now that this is like a 47 hour time crunch, I don't want you to have to spend eight hours of that resting. Uh, at least right off the bat, you might need to at some point, but. Yay. Ah, it's because I had a long rest, that's why I didn't pop that. Um, I have a quick question. Oh my God, I can't wait to answer. That's great. Um, I, so I took a, I took an Eldritch Invocation that uh, allows me to cast Mage Armor on myself at will, and it lasts for eight hours. Damn. So, do I need to tell you every time that I cast that on myself? Because, like, basically what it's going to be is every time I long rest, I'm going to. So do you want me to just tell you every time I do it? Is it is it a uh, is it a race feature or is it like a spell you're casting? It's it an eldritch invocation, so I can it's cast it without material components and without um, <clears throat> using a spell slot. Oh, at will. Yeah, I can just do it at will. I can do that shit. Okay. <laughs> I, I just didn't know if you wanted me to tell you every single time I did it. I mean, as long as as long as like when you do it on like D and D Beyond or something, it makes the adjustments to your right. shit. Okay. Then that's fine. The the more concern like, I see like with that being is right. that. Critical. You do it, and like you don't tell me, which is fine. But like you do it, but, you, but you, if you don't do it on D&D Beyond, then it won't change your stats, okay. and you'll forget that you have it. Active. So I'll go ahead. And so as that. long as you do it on D&D Beyond, and it like gives you the the benefits the, of that, the, okay. then because what is the major where it's like plus five or something? It's no, thirteen it's, plus Dex, which would bump hers by two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. it's still better than nothing. Okay, great. I just wanted to check with you. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, so I didn't find the thing, and it was it's so lame because I found something that was like super, it was like very much like vampire themed. So none of these are vampire themes, but I still think it's pretty damn cool. Um, let's see. Can I use my helmet? You should do it, Holly. That's 
because I hate this too. I hate like the time it takes to do this because I already prepped it and now I just don't know where I sit. I, I'm honestly thinking I just didn't, I, I did, I saved it on that computer and it didn't. It would be next. Okay, so who rolled the uh, 14 and up on investigation? Okay, so you find. What do I find? You find three things. I don't know why it's taking four people to do this, but back off. I've no, got you don't this. have to uh, roast us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that terminology means. We're not on fire, but I can make it happen. Um, so you find you find three things. Uh, first, you see a um, this this orb that's about. Three six inches or so diameter, like perfect sphere. Um, it's crystal clear, but you you kind of feel it at the bottom of his coffin, and you notice that it's like very, it's just beaming with kind of that magical energy. Um, as you loop through his actual body, you you feel the. Um, uh, Bones? The warmth. <laughs> Sorry, no. It's kind of. You feel the warmth of uh, his belt, and you pull it off, and it's like a little bit larger than you would think for someone like him, but it's actively warm in your hands. Um, and then, in the back of his cloak, as you're digging through and you're you're trying to figure out exactly Shit. what you can get. You feel like sort of the sharp, scaly edge of something, and you pull it out, and it's like a like masquerade-type mask, but it has these scales on it. Um, and it is a certain color, but I want to see which one's the coolest. Um, the uh, chrome pink attached to the tire. Oh, for thematic reasons, it is a beautiful like blue scaled masquerade mask um, but those are the three items the crystal ball the belt and this mask can't you identify now what was that I, so hard I can't identify I'm glad you could do it because we're just it's just a dead body here. I have a crystal ball like that but yes I can identify it we need to I don't know how to do that, so you're more than welcome. Maybe you'll do a little better at this. <laughs> touch, touch, touch. What do you what do you want to identify? Let's let's touch the crystal ball first. Crystal ball. And cast identify. You're holding a legendary item. Oh. <laughs> and this is the crystal ball of telepathy. Okay. While touching it, you may cast the scrying spell with it. I was, almost took that too, That's, so I'm glad. I, I know. Thought about taking scrying too. <laughs> While scrying with the crystal ball, you can communicate telepathically with crystal with creatures you can see within thirty feet of the spell's sensor. You can also use an action to cast suggest to cast the suggestion spell through the sensor on one of those creatures that you can see. And you don't need to concentrate on the su- on the suggestion to maintain it during the duration. But if the scrying ends, so does the suggestion spell. Once used, the suggestion power of the crystal ball can't be used until the next dawn. So, okay. next day. And assuming, I'm just going to be telling you guys this as I figure it out. It's just like you just open your mouth. But it does, I will say it does require attunement, which will require an actual long rest. Got it. Okay, great. Perfect. Um, next, we'll do the, the mask. The mask. This is a nether legendary item. Damn. We're, we're getting to the fun part of this game. Okay. Just imagine if none of us rolled a 14. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was very close, unfortunately. Um, this is a blue dragon mask. A blue dragon mask. Essentially, um, each dragon mask um, reshapes to fit the head and face of the wearer that is attuned to it. When you're wearing the dragon mask and you're attuned to it, you gain the following benefits. And it's a long list. (laughs) Damage absorption. You have resistance to the damage type. Um, 
if you already have resistance to that particular damage type, you, you now have immunity to it. Um, Draconic ma uh, Majesty. While you're wearing no armor, you can add your charisma bonus to your armor class. Dragon Breath. You have a breath weapon that requires a rest to recharge. It gains at a recharge of six. So you can regain it, sorry, at a recharge of six. So if you roll a, a d6 and you get a six, you get it back. Uh, you can do that every turn if you roll a six. Yeah. If you don't roll a six, you have to wait until you rest. Uh, Dragon Sight. You gain dark vision up to 60 feet. Um, once per day, you can gain blind sight out of 30 feet for five minutes. Dragon Tongue, you can speak and understand Draconic. Um, and the best part, my opinion, the best part, you gain one legendary resistance per day. If you fail a saving throw, you can choose to succeed instead. Oh, <laughs> Speaking of saving throws, everyone within 30 feet of me gets a plus six to every saving throw you roll. Jesus. At all times. Always. It's always on. It's always. I don't know if I want you to leave this realm. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, to describe the blue dragon mask, I'm not even going to try to pretend. I'm going to read how it says because it sounds dope the way it's described. The mask is, is made of a glossy azure that has spikes around its edges and a rigid horn at its center. The damage type is lightning. While you wear the mask, you gain the following benefit. In addition to all the other ones already listed, the blue dragon mask has lingering shock. If you deal lightning damage to a creature, it can it cannot take reactions until its next turn. So, pretty cool. Wow. Um, but Dude. compared to all the other stuff, kind of man. <laughs> That's wild. Um, and then there's still one more item. Uh, I no. think you probably have guessed what this one might be, but yeah, no. this warm to the touch belt is the belt of giant strength and this one seems to be <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> this one seems to be a fire giant <laughs> That's a, which simple. while wearing the belt your strength score changes to the score granted by the belt which is 25. Ooh, yeah, i'll take that one <laughs> i'll give the gloves to cornelius <laughs> no i'm over here flipping my coat over to a lovely blue oh <laughs> damn <laughs> no more red. And those are the three <laughs> items that you find on Kedron. Okay. Well, I'll give you the gauntlets. Um, what else do you do, huh? I'll give you the gauntlets. Did you give me the gauntlets? Yeah. Okay, yes, so that I, makes sense. My yes, I do, I do believe that you need this belt. We'll clash with each other. Okay. Yeah. But I'll take the belt. Uh, all three of those do require attunement. That's so. perfectly fine. Obviously, yes. <laughs> and remember, D and D Beyond keeps you in check on this, but remember, you can only have three yeah, attuned items at a time, unless you have something that allows you to have a fourth attunement. Mm -hmm. um, but, like Artisipher. Yeah, but right now you should all only be able to have three attuned items. So make sure if it's an item that you have and it requires attunement, make sure that that's. Who, who all has an attuned item? I have two. Yeah, a couple right, people do. Um, some people had attuned items uh, from like the very beginning of the campaign and uh -huh. stuff like that. But not every magic item requires attunement. But when you get to like the legendary stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. much all of them do. I'm not gonna do the like D and D movie thing where you guys have to like fight a, a, an ancestor in your mind to attune to it. That was kind of dumb. But um, <laughs> the tune is like you have to you have to spend time with it. But yeah, we just we just do it over a long rest because you just sit there and focus. I could be weird and be like, if it's a legendary, it requires like two weeks of a tune. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Are my silent bad boys attuning for? So, you, you, know what? Yes. Yeah. you know what? Yes. You know what? I was keeping track. <laughs> they do. Yeah. They do. What does everybody have on them right now? I think that's where I'm wanting, because I want to make sure everyone has a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. That's good. I don't you need have the, 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 mask, the mask has to do with charisma. Oh, I'm not gonna, I don't need that because I have armor on. So it would kind of clash with that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I don't need the mask. I mean, I'm just over here without armor. Yeah. Like yeah, so am I. So. <laughs> <laughs> you're a barbarian, though. Having no armor is a buff for you. Yeah, that's true. I'm out here for these giant goggles with the head. You know, see, gloves. I'm just trying to say gloves. Whatever. Oh, okay, that's, that's cool there, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do the gauntlets require attunement? They do. They do. So you'll need to attune to those before you can put them on. I believe they're all. I believe those are all in Deity Beyond. I think all of the items I just told you should be in Deity Beyond. 
Because those were all real okay. things. I didn't make what any of that shit up. Would you benefit the from the Ice Heart Amulet, mask? Moonforge Blade? I think so, and because it has to do with like the charisma. So I have I have yeah, lightning yeah, spells. Yeah. Well, the Moonforge that will allow that, but I do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a yeah. charisma yeah. caster, so that would be helpful. What does it add? Well, if you add your charisma modifier to your AC, what would it make your AC? Aww. Well, right. Oh, hold on. What are we on? So right now I have. Oh, never mind. We have to. So we're so gonna I'll, have a, I'll have a 16. Okay. With the blue dragon mask is on Andy Beyond, on, but it's a part of plus a my charisma modifier. Tyranny of Dragons book, and I don't want to pay $30 for an item. But you can Damn. buy a specific yeah, item for two bucks, okay. so I'm going to do that. That's better. Um, what is it, a long rest? Did you say a long rest? Or just an hour to attune to these things? I'm saying a long rest okay. to attune to a legendary item. Okay. And, then, and then we also have this crystal ball for scrying. We need I'm someone very I'm responsible. I mean, let's be honest here. I'll take myself off the responsible crystal ball. Okay. Yeah. Melacroft. <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> yeah, I think that he benefits from having that. Well, you can share that with her too. Really. Yeah. 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 I mean, we all can. We're 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 actually, yes. I kind of want to buy this. I feel like it's a. It's that's a group item. Mm -hmm. Do you are, are you tuned to three things right now? I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm attuned to one thing. Then just yeah, you do it. Yeah. Uh, the only reason I would take it is if you were already maxed out. Yeah. I am not. I only have my shit. You purchased for myself, you know. How about you, silent and not so deadly? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> she did not want to do I will say, shit. but just don't give me a 25 strike. I kind of wanted to do more. <laughs> Before I go wrestle the dinosaur. I'm so powerful, I'd like to sleep. Anola, Anola, as you guys are like looking through all those items, she's like, It's a lot of power, but um, I. I sort of want to go explore. I don't know. Why would we leave the way down? Why would we leave the safety of our cavern? <laughs> well, I am a bit hungry. I I think that we should follow the pink glow over there. I mean, yeah, something's obviously going on. Yeah. <laughs> we, we might I need well to find answers for why he's so pretty now. Why he's so pretty? Yeah, we might as well find out. What's going on there? Because there's clearly something about what? Yeah. That. that. Oh my god, Adam. <laughs> what happened? Your strength becomes a plus 11. Oh, both of them. Wait, how did you say that? I, I was just adding it. I mean, how? you have got to manage inventory and you can oh, okay. add it. I just wanted to see what my strength would be. Oh my gosh. Um, but first That's things first, funny. we need to find a way down. Well, we're going to like, the stairs back there. I see the stairs. They might oh, that's get, true. get yeah. us down. <laughs> Let's do that. I know you don't. Do you see one in the dark? Yeah, I do. I just I was looking out that way. I'm a little one-track mind sometimes. It's I was okay. trying to give you a bit of the doubt, but never mind. No. You can't investigate. Nice, nice, Why would nice. I think you could see stairs? Yep. Locked and loaded, baby. Nice. <laughs> to be fair, we are going down into the dark. There's no guarantee that we're actually getting down to the ground. It may take us farther into the mountain. But would you like to do dancing lights or shall I? I'll put fire on my mall. I'm sorry, what? I'll put fire on my mall. On your mall? Yeah. Well, you know, do some dancing lights. Content management. You're not needed. How far we've come from you saying that he can't die? Did you say I can't die? Is a momentary lapse of judgment. We're moving on. She seemed very it's concerned in the future, about the passing. It was, it was like some like sort of like a love Technically, I haven't said it yet. She's looking at you like, with just a look on her face with that. Like, you say that, and she's like, mm -hmm. okay. Does that mean we'll eventually get to a point where you say that I can't go. die? So, who you has the mask dead. again? Mandy. Mandy, okay. Huh? Here's yes. What? Mandy the Mandy. I need you to roll a constitution out. saving throw. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, you had a horn in last game. Like, Here's my chance. I get a horn. She gets scales now. That seems like a good roll. I'm trying to see if that uh, oh, a constitution saving throw is going to pop up. And it's a 19. Damn. <laughs> you know what? You don't want to leave this, this area. Yeah, I might won't last forever. What's that? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Maybe I can see it. Oh, I, I just bought it. It's in there. So Maybe I just added it to your equipment. Wow. Uh, I just added it to your equipment. 
No, I added it to your oh, okay, equipment. Thank you. But you'll have to, you won't be able to attune to it until. Oh, or the next level yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But it shows it already, so you can just check that box. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought well, you said catheter. I'm, like, I'm not a catheter either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so what's the plan? Are you doing a long downstairs. rest now to attune to the new shit? Or are you going downstairs? No, that's why I say we go. Yeah. You gotta say that. I was like, I didn't get anything. I say we go. <laughs> Wait, so, okay, so you have the mask. Who has the orb? Me. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then who who's rocking with the... the I already, already added the belt. I already know. You already added it? I already know. Beautiful. I should have. I should have expected that. It's just waiting one click away from the turret. We're going to get out of the Let's then, get into the line. What is that? Crystal. I will yeet him out of this building. <laughs> <laughs> you have it on. Yeah. I, have, yeah, I would have it on. And it's I would have it on. It's the ball baby. Because my strength already went down. So no. He's only going to pass Because I took off the ball. All right. They made my Boom. strength. Boom. Mellicroft, you have it. They don't stack. Which made it a plus Melly, four. Melly, you have it now. The crystal ball telepathy. Oh, okay, thank it's you. It's in your so, inventory. But he also took barbarian, so I don't know. What is your strength? Uh, well, after the rest, apparently it's only 14. Pretty tough. Okay. But the knights are going to be good. Give me another two. Also, if you want to change your... So you don't point waste something. something. You can level up something else. You can just keep the dark. Oh, oh, well, I just don't want to shoot the thing. So I get to get... Okay. Anala starts walking down the stairs. What a nice deflate. I'm following her. Yeah. Cool. I have them all lit up so we can all see. Okay. As she, as Anala walks out, you see that there's, um, like, there was some of those uh, suits that were on fire, um, oh, okay. thanks to a, a well-placed fireball. Um, but like, there's like pieces of one of them that got pulled into this room, uh, and so she pulls off one of the arm, like the bracers, and she puts it on, and she starts like tapping it, and she's like, "Oh, thank goodness!" And you guys see that there's like a timer on hers and it says like 45 hours blank amount of time uh, is there another one there or is that the only one no it's it's the only one <laughs> i just wanted it so you guys had like a timer <laughs> that's the only reason because <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> so you guys know how much time is left uh it says 45 hours and 33 seconds and it's okay. taking 32 31 30 um i was i was doing spell selection so i missed the point where how are we getting back She'll take us back in 48 she, hours. She can, oh, so she, she can, can just essentially redial the we timer. We have to do it in, within 48 hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, so for, that's why she has that timer. For curiosity's sake, right? Go back right. to the exact same moment that we okay. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, we could do it immediately and be safe, but we're going to yeah, make it eventually. Okay. We have to know why this is happening. Mm-hmm. I mean, the gods are weird. Just let it be. I mean, that's, that's just a fairly it. valid explanation of gods are weird. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just, I, I think we owe it to Melikroff to give him answers. He's, yeah. he's concerned about it. I I'm, feel like I'm more close in time to this shell's creation than we are in our own time. Although, I don't understand how all this time travel stuff works, but wouldn't the suit that I am already be here. I'm going to stop thinking about this. The only thing you need to worry about is all the things you built in the other city with the <clears throat> rest of the folks. It's all not there at all. All that hard work is pissed away, Hellicroft. How does that make you feel? Anna well, Anna looks at you and she's Cornelius. Trust me, he's like this all the time. Sorry. I, I, I would say... <laughs> <laughs> I get, I get where you're trying to go with that, but it's kind of irrelevant because it hasn't even been pissed out at all yet. So, like, pissed away isn't, it hasn't even happened yet. It also means your children haven't happened yet. Didn't she just I'm say Technically, none of us have happened yet at this point. <laughs> to answer your question about the armor, we've yes. never seen any transmutation happen just because you've... Our timeline has changed. Yes. You should not have changed. This is something different. This has nothing to do with... Oh, so this doesn't have to do with the time travel. I I didn't say that, <laughs> but oh. I, it, I've i never seen... I've been back and forth many times, and I've never seen anyone transfigure themselves. Well... Intentionally or not. A lot of unintentional so. things happen in this group. I don't know sure. if that makes you feel better or worse, but I just wanted to 
say I, I feel like I have a certain amount of expertise in this field no, I just through experience and, and although all of this is new and it's exciting and I can't wait to go explore a time before time well but then let's explore she will say uh, land before time <laughs> I, w- I wanted to say that I, but I couldn't like <laughs> the, the words land before time did not get to my brain fast enough and mm. I said a time before time what does that even mean <laughs> I meant to say that oh before recorded time sure you're welcome um, I've got you but just one extra thing throughout the monologue and talking to Anala she's again you guys have been in there for a couple of hours uh, that's what I try to dictate by saying 45 like you guys have been in there while you know looking through stuff exploring like whatever um, she also would have mentioned that this is in the like the textbook ages of the world there was the primordial age and then there was the age of the gods she thinks we're in the age of the gods right now oh, oh that would try so that means there's not a divine gate but no I'm god is probably just super powerful right? I, that's, I was just about to say Freya may be at her peak right now which is why <laughs> but we could be wrong we could be wrong around the dates, around the times of when things happen, but I, I think we're before the age of creation, so I don't I don't expect there to be anyone that looks like us. I wonder if there's any information we could get on Malice while we're here then. If we're here for age before creation with everything happening as back you, there. As you mentioned that if for those who were looking out at the sky earlier. <laughs> God <laughs> Fuck Anyone who was looking at the sky earlier. Yeah. I mean, listen, for the last 40, 50 years of most of you, like all of your existence, you've always seen a soft orange glow that is, as you guys have now known, the arcane gate holding back malice. Yeah. There is no glow in the sky. Mm-hmm. You see oh. the sun, it's burning bright. You don't see an additional sun that is softer, that, is, that all of you have known your entire life. Ah. It has, been there, just, it has been there, it has been there literally for thousands of <laughs> millennia that has been there. You guys have always seen it. It's just the sun. Now, but again, it's it's one of those things where now you're walking down the stairs, but you're like, I wonder if Malice, and then you realize, we didn't see the, because now you know what that was. Oh, you know no. that that's, that's no small moon. Um, it's an arcane gate. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Star Wars reference. So there's no yeah. arcane gate. Nice. Yeah. One meter is impossible. Again. I used to shoot that all the time in one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Nice. Well, uh, walk. This is yeah. We're just walking. Let's just walk. Let's just ignore that fear. And she just created out. the lyrics to a Pantera song. I know. I was, I was, I was, I was like, like Pantera. Walk. <laughs> okay. You, you guys go down the stairs. Um, and again, it's it's an odd feeling because you guys, in your, in. Yeah, your past presence. Wow, this is this is. I get why Back to the Future was interesting. Um, and <laughs> and where you all just came from, you all went down these stairs to get to this room. But now you're going farther down the stairs. But when you were in the last room, down was not an option. It was only up. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe you'll find out in this episode. Um, but <laughs> as you all walk down, it's the same spiral. Like these are like the same type of stairs that are going down and around and around. Very different, though, because there's not cages of humans dripping blood and, and dehydrated and, um, you know, vampires hissing and wolfbane snarling, and there's none of that. Um, it's surprisingly calm. You just hear, like, the dripping of water in the cavern. You get to the base after probably 15 minutes of going down. Um, you get to the base, and it is a just wide-open cavern. Um, you start to see the light, obviously, as you get closer, but as you get down there, you're, it is a classic Jurassic Park feeling of, like, being behind the waterfall type of thing, but instead of their water falling, it's just, like, green, um, of all the plants and the fauna, and you, you just hear sort of that nature sound of birds and animals, but right now it's just hidden behind like this wall of moss and cool. I wouldn't say moss moss isn't the right word you like this shit what are these called Hannah? Pop of vines Pop. okay what are like normal people call them? Pop of oh, vines. vines vines thank okay. you you freak 
Not the the Ian Freak. She goes, she goes to the specific, others. like, plant name, like, scientific name of it. Like, no, like, vines. Yeah. Hey, thank you, everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, it's, like, these. It's, like, it's, like, the wrong person. I, I just figured she knew where I was going with it. She I misjudged. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there are these vines that are going all the way up and down. It's not moss, because you can still see sunlight through. Moss is, like, tight, compact. It is it's like moss is, is, is like carpet on the wall. Yeah. Like that shit's gotta be hard to see through. But that's like you can definitely see through. So you guys open up this essentially plant Careful. curtain mm-hmm. and come on, please be at the right time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as you do, as you do, you just see the ground of these like tall redwood style trees, and you just it's like you see the scuttering of little beings go across the floor. They're not they're not scary. They're the friendly kind of dinosaurs. Uh, they're the ones that the kids play with at the beginning of that one Jurassic Park until they <laughs> <laughs> But they scutter across and you see like like you hear the squawking of like large pterodactyl birds and like you see like them flapping their wings over the trees and you're like, oh that's a big bitch. Um, but there's just a lot there's like a lot of activity, but you don't see any sort of like people or humans, but it's just a lot of like Animal. All right. Okay. Which way again was that light? Oh, oh, he knows. It's a, it's a beacon. It is a beacon. You were, you have never felt like again. Besides, if, if this didn't happen last session where you literally saw her in the flesh, this would be the strongest connection you've ever had. Even whenever you saw like the like incorporeal form of her Mm -hmm. like fighting the like the gate, that wasn't really like. That wasn't, like, the same, because you weren't you, like, she wasn't yeah. her. It was, like, you were seeing sort of, like, through the, you know, yeah, I'm kind of scary. dead right now, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, like, dream state almost. Yeah, 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 But you saw her in the flesh yesterday, and she was wearing armor that looked very similar to what you're wearing for Ooh. some reason. I don't know why. That's weird. But she was wearing weird. this rose gold armor, <laughs> and that's when she gave the scepter to an onolith. Um, this is really weird. But... You feel again. If that didn't just happen, this would be the strongest you've ever felt connected. Um, so I feel that pull. Not only just the pull, but you just—it's like you know exactly like where oh, where okay. she is. It's almost like you just put her shit in on ways, and like you know exactly oh, like yeah. the way to get there, um, like the quickest way to get there. And you're getting this feeling it's going to take, you know, probably about eight hours of travel to get there. Okay. So in response to Callan, I'm going to point. Like, maybe, like, just a little bit off of where it actually is. <laughs> and I imagine Melacroft just... Right dirt. there, it'll take us approximately 7 hours, 59 minutes, and 47 <laughs> seconds to get there. Uh, so a day's worth of travel. Cool. In exactly that direction. <laughs> Assuming nothing is in the way. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> how, how thick is the vegetation? Wait, you, huh? I mean, it's, it's all... What? How thick, is the, <laughs> how thick is the vegetation? Like, is there... You said, like, redwoods, but, but there's, like, paths yeah. between redwoods. But... Oh, there's big paths. Almost, like, a mm. lot of really large mm. beings have, like, moved through here and created these, like... <laughs> I mean, like, okay. I know we're a bunch of fucking nerds, but some of us have been outside, and we may have, <laughs> we may have even gone through forests in our time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's such, there's a thing called a game trail, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank Creatures. God. I was not expecting not that many people to know. So it, exactly. Yeah. Game trails as we know it are pretty common, easy to spot, a lot of like stamped down grass and mm-hmm. bush and shrub. Imagine a game trail instead of for a black bear, which is fucking huge, um, but for something that's like 10 times that size. So like there's... It, for someone of your stature, Wait, even okay. you, of <laughs> your stature, this is not, there's so much room. There's Perfect. there's foliage, but it's like, it's clearly growing up the trees, not really here at the base, because at the base, it's all stomped down for some reason. It, clearly, oh, you don't so know why. Weird. Yeah. Weird. It's not like I'm pulling from like <laughs> cinematic excellence or anything. I'm not like <laughs> pulling from like genres that clearly slap. I'm is not, there any, why would I do that? Yeah. Any like particularly large Itch. footprints near us? Maybe giant piles of shit somewhere? Yeah. Steamy. Shit pile. The only pile of shit here is you. Any children? I do wear the props. Um. And apparently it's raining. Uh, what the 
Oh, 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 Sorry. The music, I feel like, it's, it's got to work, you know? Nothing for the smell. Yeah, I lose my version of the music's out there. So. I know. I do. I do. Well, just, you know, peeling it back yeah. and, like, what's funny is I, I wasn't, like, pausing it or moving it. I just I just turned it up one or two, and I was, like, I'm really hoping it's right there at that, like, moment. It kind of was. It was, yeah. like, you open it. I was, like, <clears throat> all right. Sorry. I'll stop being too dorky. Um, the... Totally not the right group for that. <laughs> Um, well, as far as like the story writing and thematic elements, like that's where I that's where I dork out. I'm sure he's blowing. I guess yeah, I think that's what it was. It just yeah. wasn't a noise I was expecting. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we'll so, take we'll take the game trails on the way that. Yeah, 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 yeah and Melacroft can yeah. sort of like analyze like the fastest route, and he's seeing that it's probably gonna take about eight hours if you know everything goes as planned, which I'm sure it will. Why wouldn't it? Probably. What's the worst that can happen? So, yeah, we would all like to I will say, I will say, I want you guys to be able to explore and do whatever. So you don't have to just go to this singular point that I pointed out, but just knowing that Why would we but if you get there, if you go straight there, you'll have about 37 hours to get back. So you have plenty of time. I, mean, to, I would like to keep rolling perception or just passive perception yeah, on yeah. Who's got the highest, interesting thing on the way there. Yeah. Who's yeah. got the highest yeah. passive perception right now? What do you have? I have 18. Runs at 15. <laughs> Mine's 17. 16. Okay. Anyone higher than 18? Okay. So, <laughs> so as you guys are like walking through, there's occasionally, there's there's times where, like, Kehana, you have 18, right? So there's times where Kehana will like put up one of those like, <laughs> um, and everyone like stops and like sort of runs into each other a little bit. But, and as you do that, there's like the crossing of certain animals and things like that. Um, but the first one that really shocked you or just put you in this moment, like this moment of just, you've never seen anything and, and yeah. like, like this, um, you guys come to this Creek that you have to cross, right? You're going to have to get over this Creek and it's not, it's not like water that's going to go chest deep. It's definitely ankle deep at the most, but it's just, it's a babbling brook, right? Mm -hmm. And on on the side as you guys start to cross you kind of look down the river where it's flowing so down river of you and you see a family of tri triceratops which I don't want to describe that you guys know what that looks like <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to use the name that's the one dinosaur I know for a fact what it looks like yeah. um, and you see it with it's horns and like the little baby ones or like you can see like the family like it's a family of triceratops like a small herd if that's what it's called i'll confirm with Ryder. Um, <laughs> but you see them just drinking the water of the stream and there's like this there's this feeling within all of you that's a piece of it's like that is a big animal that's terrifying it's scary if it charges me i'm gonna fucking shit my shit like shit my pants but at the same time there's like this piece of you that is you feel the, the familial connection. You feel the the tenderness of like. I feel like they'd only attack me if I attack them. Mm -hmm. um, so okay. that's what you see as you cross this brook. Um, if anyone wants to interact with them, you no. can. I, I, I kind of want to. I <laughs> want to pull Jordan's little head out of the oh, yeah. out of the armor so that he can see it. What the. That's what we all the said. freak did not well, freak in that language. It's fuck. <laughs> well, I was gonna say in this group, he's picked up on all the languages. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't believe. Uh, well, what the frick, mom? Yeah. You know, we're just in a new place. And and I I oh, also, this is only a few hours after he's been born, so I he's know. still very, very small. Yes. Um, <laughs> I will say he does grow very fast. Right. You guys didn't really get to see that last time. He died really quick. Um, <laughs> but his stages of like going from infancy to like full grown adult like phoenix like yeah ice phoenix um you haven't seen how long that takes but how fast he grew in those first couple days Keep probably didn't take that long okay yeah um so he might be a powerful ally if you let him get there <laughs> We're gonna be better. Bird we might bomb. be able to. <laughs> We're gonna be better. Yeah. The second child's always more protected than the first. <laughs> it's the same child. 
child. I just get a, multiple chances to do it right. The child's so nice, she had a The only type of parenting you can do. <laughs> it dies and comes back. It's fine. It's fine. So does anyone want to play with the Triceratops? No. no. Okay. I mean, I'm tempted. No. <laughs> Just you do see so them sort of look. They it. sort of look up at you, and they're like licking the water, drinking. They do it probably with their tongue. I don't know. Lapping the water up. Lapping. Is that's the word. Yeah. Good licking. Good. They're just. <laughs> just, <laughs> just licking the water. <laughs> and they look up. They look upstream at you, and you see like one of the moms that kind of like shake their head like this, and like the little baby one kind of goes around behind, and then they just go back to drink. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's just leave him alone. That's yeah. pretty cool. If I could ride a horse, I'm sure I could ride one of those. You could ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I learned. That's what we call a roast. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. Full circle. Good right callback. That is full circle right there. <laughs> Come back for you. Wow. Okay. So yeah, a few hours of travel, a few of those things happen where Kehana's like, stop, and you know, you guys see a family of know, dinosaurs for shit. Dinosaurs. Uh, what the fuck? Dinosaurs? <laughs> Which one is that? Which one is that? They have their big spikes, spikes on, the, on their back. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. ones with the spiky tail too. Like like yeah. yeah. They got yeah, like a full body back. spike mohawk. Like spike yeah. from Land of Fortnite. You know what's funny? Uh -huh. People with kids. <laughs> Right. Um, no, no. I knew I knew Land Before Time, but I don't know all of the names. Uh, I remember some of them. It's, yeah, it's, it's Ducky's brother. I'm a, the I'm green honest. one. It's the green the one that, that is slow and dumb. Anyway, so you see that. Thing. You see some of those. You see, and then you get to the open plane, and you have the you have the moment of like seeing the brontosaurus. Yeah, like long necks. Yes, and those are the biggest things you've ever seen in real life. Those are fucking huge. But I will say. As you're looking at these brontosaurus, like eating leaves off of a tree that's you know, 100 feet tall or however tall they are, um, we'll say 100 now. <laughs> They're that big. They're pretty tall. Oh, okay, good. Um, as you're watching that, you all see. Well, first you hear a screech, um, but it doesn't sound like aviary. It doesn't sound. It sounds very territorial. It sounds angry. And as you guys hear this like this shriek of this like guttural caw, you notice the clouds are shifting and changing and there's like lightning sp like sporadically shooting across the sky. And as you're watching this brontosaurus eat the leaves, you see it sort of like duck its head and as it ducks the wingspan of a very large blue dragon swoops low and just barely missing the, the neck of the brontosaurus um, and it shrieks as it goes flying by and there's like lightning and clouds and shout like just chaos above it and then it just keeps going and the sky clears and the brontosaurus goes <laughs> just another day John's late for work again <laughs> well that answers the dragon question <laughs> and it's a very big dragon had a very large horn on the front of it <laughs> just very similar oh to your mask goodness. definitely mom <laughs> the yep. mm -hmm. and some of y'all might know yet. might recognize who that is not um, character wise but player wise yeah um, you guys have no clue. I would like to be on the lookout for an even bigger black dragon <laughs> you might see him fuck <laughs> off oh. 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 I didn't create the character I, I mean she might be going to him I don't know they're, they're, they're spouses yeah. according to my lore they are married yeah. I don't know what any of this means <laughs> nope <laughs> sure don't. Should have and hopefully that. at this current level you guys don't find out uh, <laughs> hopefully no. it's just something that is passing through but rough enough when we fought her. you had ombre that's true yeah. so Still you guys we have a level yeah. 20 paladin <laughs> and Eritok on our side who's that? oh uh, okay oh uh, yeah Wait, do I not have any powers? Did oh, he try to cast fuck. a spell? You didn't try to I have. I did identify. What level spell is that? It's a ritual spell. Oh, level... that's fine. Okay. <laughs> ritual spells. Did you put dancing lights? I tried dancing lights. Can't 
That's fine. Yeah, it's once I try a higher <clears throat> level that I'm sure I won't have any fucking well, That's your only option. <clears throat> you only cast the max level for what you can cast. Yep. Except for the original one, you can't Yeah. So there's the only two. Well, okay. you, didn't, you didn't try to speak with Deb. I did not. But that is doing it uh, without, like, at will as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. I haven't said you can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but the way that you. It's the implication. Yeah. <laughs> You so can, how far away from you can blow a, You can blow a load if you want. Just try just to... Blow load. Yeah, blow a load. Yeah. Good. Just blow a load. Right Fifth level load or fourth level load? Third mm-hmm. level load? I don't know if it's sorcerer. That should be fine, right? It's over here. How far away are we? Some sorcerer. That should be fine. I'm such a rigid cloak. I don't know. Glad I didn't take the potential. I don't know how it works. What's it about? It's crazy. It's a crazy game. Hey, Hi. A weird game. Are we gonna keep walking? Yeah, yeah. we're just walking yeah, right now. Yeah, we're, walking. Yeah. Still walking. we're still walking. Yeah. We'll say by this point it's probably been about I don't know if we're we six, walking. seven hours. You guys no, are getting pretty close. Oh, okay, we're getting there. Okay. Is he like shining more brightly? No, he's not shining any brighter, but he's Shine brighter. he's. <laughs> Just knowing Cody, he's getting more giddy as he gets close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Melvin Croft is now taking the lead. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm just yeah, expecting to hear more facts about um, amazing. Yeah, there's... Yeah. I will say, from at this point, you guys can see the meteor. It's far away. Oh, but shit. You can like see it. Yeah, away. from about 40, you know, 40 hours away or so, like, you can definitely see it. Um... Again, it's, it's a. Like a does Enola like point it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't know that that's what it is, but you can definitely see a little, okay. you know, little guy. Just <laughs> a little guy. Oh, guy. <laughs> it's getting closer. Yeah. If you had a telescope, you'd be like, "What? <laughs> oh, there's a comet coming for us, boy." <laughs> um, it's like that "Don't Look Up" movie on Netflix. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, no. um, or a classic episode of South Park. Where he fools butters into thinking a comet's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Casa Bonita. Casa Bonita. Um, so, you guys approach this beacon, which was flashing and shining before, but now as you get closer, it doesn't really seem to be all that bright. Um, but Melicroft, mm-hmm. as you get closer and you start to recognize some of this structure, um, there's <laughs> there's a um, there's an, a, a familiar uh, architectural sort of feeling that you're getting mm-hmm. but it's very vague and faint because clearly things have changed since when you saw it versus where it is in its current standing um, however this Actually, not just you, Isadora, mm-hmm. you also are starting to realize there's a familiar architectural feeling as you get closer to the structure. And as you guys are climbing up this sort of this hill as you're approaching, it's a stone semi Pantheon X building. That I, as the player, want to say, oh, maybe we recognize him for a while. Yes. You may have fake prayed in something that looks really simple. <laughs> <laughs> but I also maybe get, like, fake stolen. By a you did. Person. No, you got really stolen. No, you, got real, you got real stolen by a real person. <laughs> you got real stolen, and then you were taken to a whole different plane of existence. And then you that real was... nap pointed your way out of a, an illusion. Yeah. I, I've counted once in my life in my rules <laughs> with a nat twenty significance. Uh, do we do we realize that that's where we saw this last? Well, you just did. As you're approaching and get closer, it's starting to really take hold in your mind that this. And again, all of you guys also got here at mm-hmm. some point, but like yeah. they spent the most time in it. Yeah. You guys all just kind of showed up, fought the guy, and left. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how it would feel to the rest of you, but they were in it for a while, and they. Mm-hmm. They spoke with with and Valcor here. And weren't the walls defaced in such a way that like certain things weren't visible? Well, they were just written on. Uh, okay. But you're not inside it yet. You guys are still approaching. Is there anybody here? Are there pre- like yeah, signs that somebody is here? Like you should almost be overtaken with vegeta- vegetation. Oh God, no. 
No, so it that's looks what pristine. Like. It looks pristine. It looks... Not only does it look pristine, but you see smoke coming through the top, and there seems to be a, a hearth or some sort of fire from within. Prehistoric people. You remember this place, yes? What I'm wondering is when it got to the Feywild. Anybody speak prehistoric? No. Uga, uga. Is that your language? <laughs> so, no, hold on, are you saying that this is the same place that was in the Feywild? Or just a place you, that looks too. like it? Do you remember when Valcor absconded with Inari? It was this... Yeah, it was the quietest time of my life. So how... It was this... <laughs> it was this structure. It was, yes. Yeah. I love you. I hate um, you. <laughs> I wonder, um, but if the saying, event is about to happen, do you think maybe the event had something to do with splitting it? Well, or, or, fair, or moving it through the family? If an entire comment of time stone split the world, or hit, the, split hit the, the world, world, I'm sure it kind of sends some time that way, send some time that way, you know what I mean? But are we, are we saying that this is the same exact one, or just a similar building? I don't know. I was paying attention to killing some can we, young cow. Can we tell that if it's the exact same building or if it's? I don't know how you can be the, for, like certain about it, ooh, but it looks like I, so stone, and then I remember specifically going, going, going around because you said that it was iconography that reflected Freya's stuff, but like different in such a way that maybe it came before what I recognized. I remember Melacroft went around and like wrote down, like drew the symbols and stuff like that. Like I recorded the symbols. Okay, go inside. So I will say to Callan, I would need to go inside, but I remember... I, this is all about walking up the stairs. Yeah, I remember recording. Is it, and so. it's open, so we probably could like start to see inside as we're walking up the stairs. Yeah. So. I'm just saying that it no seems, as far as I know... <laughs> Timestone messes with time, not location of planes. Just somebody to collect so. Unless we're saying that, this building. Unless we're saying that the Fey realm was once a part of the main realm and then was split by time. Alright. <clears throat> well, there are theories. As you, as you get closer and closer, and you're now essentially at the, almost at the base of this building. I did not think it was going to be that loud. <laughs> As you get to the base of this building, I trip. Uh, there's some of the some of those symbols that Melacroft had written down become more evident, etched in. They're not they're not uh, uh, there's no ink or anything, mm-hmm. but it's definitely cut into the stone. Um, you also see a a, a semi familiar symbol. Um, very close to where the entrance of this door, like the opening, because there's no doors in these as you guys have established, but there's there's like openings mm-hmm. at the front and the back. So there's two entry points essentially. Um, but as you guys approach, there's this, you know, I don't know the shape of those uh, like Greek style pillars because they have all those like ridges, ridges in yeah. it, but it's essentially one of those on each side and cut in very finely is it's like a circle and then it has these squiggles and it just it looks a little chaotic but to Melacroft and to Inari as you look at your hand Isadora sorry Isadora as you look at your hand you recognize that it's that symbol of forgiveness Sick. not your hand Melacroft her hand <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah because yeah, 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 you can make it glow the gauntlet splits open yeah, that's yeah. what I brand it with I, w- I wouldn't. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> not, not again. <laughs> you can always fake pray again. Like, <laughs> but as you guys get here and you recognize that and you see it, um, that, fu- that, that fire from within um, crackles and you, you kind of hear one of the logs sort of adjust and fall in. Um, and let's be honest, you guys, as a group of, you know, eight people are not super quiet even when stealthing right there's always going to be noise and so you hear <laughs> except unless you're wearing crocs crocs of elven kind um, you know they look stupid as fuck these silent bad boys <laughs> there's a uh, there's a a a woman sitting by the fire and she's wearing kind of common cloth clothing and she turns to see you all and she has this like black eye paint underneath her eyes but other than that she seems 
completely normal and human. And she looks at all of you. She says, this was sooner than expected. And we'll take a break from there. <laughs> it's been two days. We're back. We, we are back. We. So you see this, this woman come and look and she says, you're here sooner than expected. Does she look like Freya? Looks like a blonde woman. Wait, what, what, we're just speaking in common, I guess. Mm -hmm. Are you expecting us? <clears throat> I don't know who you are. Who's Maybe. You? What is your name? I don't know. What would you call me? You seem really nice so far. Um, nice. Friend. <laughs> Sweet friend of Dorgo. You may call me friend. You're okay. now afraid of friend. <laughs> the whole religion has changed. Friend. Because of Isadora. Shocker. <laughs> well, he said it didn't look like friend. Wouldn't be the first one. He didn't say no. He said it's just a blonde woman look regular. How long have you been here? Been here, yeah. in my home, or here in this realm. Uh, realm. Are you Freya? Several seems to be dancing around a question. Is that similar to friend? Similar in a way, yes. yeah. yeah. Is this your symbol? And I'll hold up his hand. It is. So that's Freya. It means to forgive. That is what it means, yes. <laughs> then I welcome you. I am Freya. Okay. See? That was easy. Okay. Freya is a friend, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to side peek. <laughs> What's Elkrop doing? <laughs> and you must be my first followers. He is. No. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm going to walk forward and take a knee. <clears throat> she, she, said, she just raises it. No need for that. And then I'll stand back up. Um, we are all equals. You don't know me yet. Um, but yes, I am a follower of yours. And uh, I have been for some time. Technically, you've been up now for about 65 million years. <laughs> but it is negative 65. <laughs> <laughs> is that how that works? You said this was sooner than expected, so who, what, what are you waiting for? Who, who are you expecting? Um, I don't know, precisely. Can you, can you, can you remember the uh, children's tales about how we were created? Well, you see, Callan, when uh, a mom Again, I know. and a daddy... <laughs> I meant more... She's listening very intently. <laughs> I meant more in the... Uh, this is awkward because my mom's uh, here, but my dad's The deity not. region of creating mankind. Like creationism myths or whatever. Yeah. Do you ever recall any of those? Yeah. Was it this around is, this time? This is me creating? to the DM. Do I ever recall any of that creationism yeah, myth? Yeah, So, <laughs> would it... Yeah, would it be around like this time or... No. Okay. That's why we're early. So we're earlier. The creation of mankind, if you guys know it, didn't happen for millions of years. Okay. So, okay. That's why. How did you get here? Have you always been here? No. No, I was placed here. By who? Father. My, um, my creator. Oh. What does this name? Do you know? Or remember? So, mm. he's. Oh, looked, you all look up and you see the, the sun kind of through this roofless building. Uh, she says, You feel him, but he's here. Did we ask about MALIS? <clears throat> yes, do you know somebody by the name of Malice? Yes. Where is he? Hmm. I don't know right now. You might want to kill him. 
What does that mean? Oh, uh, you don't know what killing is? You have to remember, I, I don't know. assume that they're only gods, right? Immortal beings probably don't yeah, know what death Yeah, they don't know what killing really death is. is. Uh. Well, I know what death is. My brother helps in that regard. Uh, um, maybe there's no act of killing. Has, has Malice... Does Malice betray everyone? Is that what happens? I believe so, yes. Has Malice betrayed you all yet? Um, he... He made decisions that were unwise with our primordial creators. Has he been placed behind any kind of... Uh, <clears throat> gate. Gate. Okay. For lack of a better term. I don't believe so, no. You should really learn and look at how to create a gate. The, uh... Where we're from seems to be a lot further along when we're from. uh, When we're from, I guess is a good way to put that. Um, It was much further in the future, and you uh, have many followers. Um, And Malice, where I'm from, is trying to hurt you. He's trying to use your use your power. Try to hurt me. Mm-hmm. He's trying to use your power to free himself from where he's contained behind the gate that we're talking about that doesn't exist yet. Then why do we just not contain him and let him be free? Um, Did, because he wants, he wants to eliminate life on Earth? Or not Earth, Ulta? That's unlikely. Maybe it might be unlikely now, but in the future... <clears throat> When we are from millions of years in the future, um, it is very likely. He's trying to. Anola, Anola, pulls out the scepter, and she says, "You gave this to me today, but much farther ahead in time. It was you. You were more enlightened." But it was you. And this allows us to go to where the gods are. But it seems we've come back to when the gods walked among us. Is this a trick? Was this you messing with me? Is that why I'm here? And Freya looks at the scepter. She looks at Anala. She looks at all of you and is trying to piece it together. And then there's this, uh, it's a moment where she looks down and then she looks back up and there's recognition in her eyes. <clears throat> that is no trick. That will get you into Manas Kara. You've all stumbled into something well beyond our years. And you're watching her search through her memories and mind that to a god is timeless. Mm -hmm. And she's creating recognition from a timeline, from her future self and remembering conversations and remembering each of you. Do we see that look of like, oh shit. Like she's put. Yeah, and she's also remembering fighting the gate of malice and all of these things. And you look, and she looks into. And into sort of the void out from beyond all of you. This is difficult. What can I do to help you? Um. <clears throat> is there something I can do now to prevent things from happening? It wouldn't. You can't change things that haven't happened. But can can you? Um, When people try to change the design, when, when we try to change the design, it causes friction. And my brothers and my sisters respond to friction. I believe that's what happened to my husband. 
Who's Joseph? Where is Mary? Is she have a Mary? Do I know who her husband is? Is your husband Callus? Apparently not for long. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't take the divorce well, then, I guess. Maybe that's what caused the divorce. So we caused the divorce with the previous tagline by coming back? My we brain hurts. Cause it. No. <laughs> uh-uh, that's his choice. <laughs> we can't. She just said that we can't My rewrite things by coming back here. But what if we didn't rewrite it because we came back? I, My brain hurts. <laughs> just stay there. What's Freya, what's Freya doing? He's like, still just sort of staring that. off, contemplating. Because if we came back in every timeline and tell her this, and then she does that and then divorces them because we told her, you and then that causes something. Yeah. Didn't you and I count that? Say we, we can't we change no it. We have no impact at all. So yeah, we don't have an impact. We just sit back and play rock paper scissors. That has to be the reason why. <laughs> <she has to be. laughs> That's the reason why she has to be the one to hold the arcane gate. That's why the other ones aren't. Is because it's her. Yeah. Fuck. Her betrothed. So. Freya, um, I, as I think you're recalling now, am a follower of yours that perished in your service many millions of years from now, and I was resurrected by you in this shell, and uh, when I'm from, this is not the appearance of or the capabilities of my form. Do you know what's happened to me since I've arrived here with you now? Seems simple. When you're from, I have thousands of followers. My ability to give is spread thin. But here now, it is not. Maybe we're one pipeline. Pipeline straight to you. Yeah. <laughs> Question: Do you have a son named Valcor? A son? Yeah, I'm just wondering. I'm unfamiliar. Okay. That was a long shot. Did I take it? Did he have any other names? Did you have any children with Mal's? Um, we're not able to create like that. How do you create that? That's a soul thing. Love child. Love child. No, the only only mother and father can create, which is why I'm trying to wrap my mind around how you are all here. Well before. You've been created. created. And what that must mean, and it must mean that what you tell me is true, or else you would not be here. And if it is true, then I'm very concerned for your safety. Because malice is powerful. Which is why I'm concerned for your safety. (laughs) He's not more powerful than me, darling. But in the time that I'm from people faith as a whole is in decline because of technology and people don't need don't feel the need for the comfort of the gods in the way that they used to and I and my my family my friends fellow followers of yours I don't think that we're enough to sustain you against what Malice is trying to do. Meanwhile, his following, because of the intoxicating stuff that he spews out, once again, when we're from, is driving people to him like a drug in masses. And so, where I'm at currently, um, I, I am kept alive by your power. And I just shut off one day because you are being pushed to your limits in the time that I'm from. And if you have any 
clearer sight now or any ideas now how I can help you once we have reached that point uh, or any any info or any kind of guidance you can give me to help you that is literally the reason I am alive right now I my mortal shell already died I have no idea if I'm going to live forever in this thing I surmise probably not but I was resurrected with the sole instruction to find and forgive the people that crossed you. And that leads me to believe that those are followers of malice in the time that I'm from. And so that that's why I exist. That's, that's why I'm alive. And I will do whatever it takes to fulfill your wish. Which is ironic. A mortal like me saying that I'm going to fulfill a goddess's wish, but it's what you asked me to do, and it's literally my purpose. So, if you can help me help you, I would you can help me help you help be me extremely help you. appreciative. <laughs> help us, help you, help me, help you, help us. It's terribly convoluted. It seems <laughs> that is exactly what's going on there. <laughs> it seems as though I've already helped in many ways. I mean, yeah, you you been, have tremendously. You've been one of the more active goddesses in our time. And she and she looks towards Anala and looks down to where she put the scepter away. She says... There was also a giant time stone coming to kill us all. I don't know if you knew that. Kill you, maybe. Okay. Do you know what we can expect when we use the scepter that you gave to Amala? Because I asked you if you thought her cause was worthy. And you gave her the scepter. I'm, I must trust my future judgment. Do Sol and Luna have the ability to rewrite the design, or whatever you called it? Yes. So we would need to make an appeal to them. The primordials. Cool. I, I realize the audacity of what I'm saying. I realize that. But the you audience, handed us this scepter. The audience is going to be more than just those two, I'm afraid. As they have brothers and sisters. And they may not see it as clearly as you. As that's why their counsel is needed for many decisions of this world and beyond. You'll need to convince, of course, Sol and Luna, as well as Sol's brother Orion, and his bride Amalthea. They seem to make most of the decisions together. Okay, this is, this is out of question. Do we, do we know as history that they have been defeated and killed over on the other continent? Hasn't continent? happened yet. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 you guys, yeah, yeah. Like us as, oh, like it would have yeah. been in the history books? That's yeah, pretty common. Okay. Yeah. That's world news. That's not. Yeah, that's <laughs> world news. I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> BBC <laughs> covered that for sure. Yeah. So then, the Callan would have been like, "You mean the Orion and Amalgi that yeah. died yeah. fifteen hundred years years ago in our time?" And Amalgi that, hasn't been heard of in. Yeah. yeah. Amalgi hasn't shown face again. Orion has been defeated and destroyed. Teal's knowledge completely destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. So Teal in our timeline, it's just so new. Um. Things change. And this well, whole world will stab your brother in the back, I guess. This this whole world will likely change in a matter of hours. Yeah, uh, are we still gonna well, how much how much time we got, uh Mama Cornelius? <laughs> Mama Cornelius. Mama Cornelius. Mama Corncop. Uh Anala. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's a says more, right? there she is thirty six hours mm-hmm. remaining. I couldn't remember the name of the organization you're hunting. That's fair. So <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. So, if the primordials are outside of time, regardless of if we use the scepter now or if we use the scepter in our own time, we're going to be met with the same council. I would imagine that in my time. I don't know if I don't know if I can give that answer. I don't know. know. I I for 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 one Mm -hmm. do not often seek that council. It's been some time. 
Do you know how many years it's been since you were created at this point? How many moons? How many suns? Um, I was created at the time of expansion. Cool. Great answer. Can I turn look at the walls? Is there anything on the walls? Because you were saying, like, originally there was stuff there was, there's the, on the walls and stuff. That was all just... That was all things that Malice had written. Mm-hmm. And, like... Or not Malice had written, sorry. Valcor exactly. had written. What um, else is in the room? Again, that that has stayed very similar to what it was. There are the walls. There's, 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 there's a... There's a, there's a giant room. Freya swords or anything? Stop. No, you are the giant Freya sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the next four, so, yeah, he's yeah, for the next 36 hours. <laughs> I'm looking for anything like of Malice's too, because if she's married to him, then his thing is going to be as well. The really interesting you say that. This. Okay. Because as you guys are sort of looking around, Shit. wait, what? You hear you hear footsteps approaching, <laughs> and a oh. blonde-haired, short blonde hair. Maybe six two, six one, not Callan height, but slightly taller than average. A man comes in, also with those same black paint underneath his eyes, but just regular sort of cloth clothing. And he sees everyone. And he sort of twists his head, and he makes eye contact with with his now named Freya. He says, "Who are these?" Are these the followers? Mm-hmm. He doesn't recognize me. Like and, like and, and he looks at all of you and he says, Welcome. Oh, okay. Thank to you. our fame. Our home. Thank you. Isadora, are you to pray again? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to mean it. <clears throat> now you can pick prayer. <clears throat> Uh, what's, what's your name? Um, they've named me Malice. Cool. Wanted to confirm. You all seem early. A little bit early. By how, by how much, would you say? Um, well, we were told to be a wipe and a rebuilding period it would take. A long time. I don't know, maybe a few million years. <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. But great. we welcome you nonetheless. Hello. We weren't expecting to be here either. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. If you feel compelled to the dark side, do you, do you mind not just Please throwing el- that out? Please elaborate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Lorekeeper. <laughs> you better see yeah, that. That's it. You open Tristan, that door. <laughs> please roll persuasion. Sure. I mean, if he's the same as her, you can see to the future and be like, oh, I've already done that. Maybe he's already but he can choose it. something different. It's his choice. He might already be plotting. But how does she know? <laughs> <laughs> persuasion. He might be faking. Can I roll an insight? 18. Like, 18's sure. pretty good. 18? Okay, 18. He says... I typically try to stay in my father's light, but I'll make sure to keep an eye peeled for such things and Dude. temptations. Nope. Never mind. From my from my learning book reading days, do I recall why he went rogue? No. Okay, just that. I mean, I would imagine that it's always kind of written that he was just an evil god. Um, it was written. From your, what your books say, now whether or not books weren't around when they were, but yep. from what your books say, Malice is said to be one of the first creatures of evil. He is said to have assisted in defeating the primordial beings. Okay. But had hate in his heart for the other gods. Hey, he, you followed, he followed Orion in the Divergence and was not seen thereafter. Those symbols in your book, you should ask her what they mean. Yeah, what do. Well, for, who first. Are you asking? Huh? Who are you oh. asking? Well, 
Before I ask, well, I guess I should ask about the symbols first because depending on how the kind of question goes, um, I I will visit this place at some point. Uh, all of us will visit this place. You very, already, you already have. That's true. Very distantly in the future, as well as now, and. Yes, this is not our first time. But I was wondering some clarification on just what the symbols I'm seeing around me are. The ones that I'm familiar with have been embellished as people do over the years. So I know this means forgiveness, and I'll display my hand. She 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 looks towards one of the symbols on the wall and she says, This means Fertility, where we're being told that will become extremely important. It will. In the age of creation. And then she looks at another one and says, this means peace. I'm jotting all the, like these down under <clears throat> the symbols that I've drawn. And she, and she makes sure as she's going through and you see, you know, you know, love, fertility, mm-hmm. peace, uh, forgiveness, things like that. Um, all the typical staples that you know of phrase, yeah. like um, uh, religion is based on. Uh, she does mention that we were told that, we were told, sorry, <laughs> we were told that these ideals would be important. And it saddens me to hear that people are not living up to these from when you are. How's Malice responding while she's talking? He's nodding along. Okay. Like, I try to do an insight check on him, but I feel like... Yeah, why don't you do an insight check? If you're asking how he's re- responding, I feel well, like it's literally an insight check. I know you're I want to look at him too, but... But she's... It saddens me to know that people are not living to those ideals. Um, when you say... Oh, that's a natural 20. Whoa! And a plus 6. So it's 26. Whispers, whisper, whispers. No need. You, you're you watching him, and he's like nodding along, nodding along, and then you see like just a sly smile. Just... Ah, he's already plotting that motherfucker. <laughs> well, again, from what... Just to help with the timeline of things. The primordial beings were... That whole fight... And all of that happened way before the actual creation of the world. Right. Okay. Well, it's and already so Malice, they just, the other gods don't know that Malice fought with the primordial beings of evil. Oh. They don't know he's been sliding through. Just like Orion, they've been sliding through, and they don't actually, all the gods don't clash until the divergence, Does which happens a long time from now. I do. Miss, okay. you just realized that he's lying and he's out of truth to be helpful. Sure. <laughs> apply magic to a god. I know, I'm like, That's I don't know work. how to <laughs> that <laughs> like either. Mr. Dora is wanting to start a new campaign. No, love. Just... Wait, you're the one who said it? What? I was just asking it? who had zone of truth. Oh, you're not saying it in character. No. Okay. No, I, I don't know that Isadora would really... Yeah, I'm not doing that yeah. to gods. I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but... Oh fuck! Would I saw we that. would we know that though? Like that, Malice was known. To maybe be, Mellicroft. Was, maybe Mellicroft, considering he specifically asked, and then I read the description of like what would be in the books, and mm-hmm. it says he helped defeat the primordial beings. Mm-hmm. So, so like I wouldn't know that. It'd yeah. be tough. Again, it's one of those things where Malice is one of those that's like been kind of like redacted from a lot of history books for his like purposes. Yeah, his like mindset and his evils, and so. It's much better to celebrate the gods that care about you, not the ones that don't. 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 Yeah. What to do with this information? I know. Yeah. And Malice, how do you feel about these ideals? How do you feel? What do you mean? Explain feeling. I wish we still had that connection that you could just like, say. When? Go ahead. <laughs> when we speak. He leans. He leans in. To you as you as you're saying this. When the creation happens and people like us are commonplace among the world, ideals like compassion, caring for one another, forgiving people, 
loving people, taking care of them uh, when they have nothing to offer you, especially when they have nothing to offer you. What do you think about that? I think it's necessary, of course. Inside track. But do Her you... natural 20 is just screaming all this is bullshit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We, we already know. The rest of you probably don't notice. No, she, yeah, she knows, though. I'm... I'm message or am something. Am I close to Bancroft? Am I close to you? I don't know. I don't, are you close? Do the dice roll. I see a message. I'll or... kind of si- I don't have message. No. Maybe I, do. seems like a I mean, nice Melacroft is almost <laughs> entirely sure. I didn't roll an insight check, but I'm almost cool. entirely <laughs> sure this dude's <laughs> fucking yeah, blowing yeah. hot air at me. I think I have. It's because we know his future. No, I do. You all seem to think it's very, it's a cantrip. very genuine. Um, what do you have? Message. Oh, it's a cantrip. <laughs> You're like, I don't have that. No, I have. <laughs> um, I'll, Tell Melacroft. Yeah, I'm going to just, under my breath, very quietly just say to Melcroft <laughs> he's lying. Necessary. Lying about what? Shit. Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, uh, feel... Well, Malice, where we're from, you're actively harming your wife, and I think you're lying to me right now. You okay? So maybe you're not necessarily <laughs> lying, but you say effort, you followers. say that these things are necessary, and yet I doubt you value them at all, since you're actively siphoning power and harming your wife in the time that I'm from. And my sole That's purpose of being alive is to hunt down and kill your followers. Okay. Oh. Well, fuck. <laughs> So, at what point do you guys want to roll new characters? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm bucking my chest, but if he smites me right now, I'll say it's my little like, I know, I know that, he's standing up for his sometimes. I know that I, as a being, literally as a being, have no ability to, to stand up to you or strike you down. That's not necessarily my intention. And I don't think that's what Freya in the time that I'm from wants from you. Is to hurt you or harm you. But you followed Orion and fought on their side. Why? Why do you want to harm everyone and everything in the time that I'm from? If Freya can remember the future, you can remember the future too. I just want to know why. I die. can't fight you. I'll die instantly. I just want to know why. Cathartic. It's good you understand your place. Hmm. It's good you understand your place. Yeah. Well, I mean. I mean, we have, yeah. <laughs> we understand. I can't talk kill a god. Talk, yeah, no, we understand. <laughs> we ain't trying to hurt you right now. Like. But he looks like, to he looks to Freya, and she looks back at him, and and there's like. There's like a little surprise in her eyes, but not as much as. She, the rest of all of you guys have right now. Um, she's kind of like, is it true? Like, she's saying that with her eyes, and he just sort of nods. He says, well, I may have helped in progressing to the place we are now. And progress seems to always have to break down barriers. Barriers in the form of creators, less powerful beings, an entire world, if they stand in our way. What is the aim of your progress? I get that change is fundamental and necessary to reality. But what progress are you trying to accomplish that necessitates the end of all creation that you guys have yet to do at this point? What, like, I can't do anything to stop you directly. You would strike me down where I stand. So at least humor me. What progress? What are you trying to accomplish? At least let me understand your motivation. I'll humor you. With an exercise. A demonstration. I'd rather than that. I pick you. I need I'll need three volunteers. I pick you, of course. I pick 
The one with the attitude. <laughs> I have and a perfect then, attitude. And then I'm drawn to you. <laughs> <laughs> Weird how that works. The three of you step forward. No. I'm going to. I'll I'm going to as well. I'm the one with the attitude. I'll, I'll step I'll, with Nari back and I'll step forward. I'm sorry. You must have misheard me. Please step back. Please don't get killed. Or just not visit. Helen, let it on again. And Nari, will you step forward for me? He will just kill you. There will be no harm to you. This is a vocal exercise. You can stand back She's there. She's most likely going to kill us all. Oh, she that's a well, I'm ready to die if it means getting to tell Malice to suck eggs in person. <laughs> she can suck handle it. herself. She's got it. <laughs> I'm a big girl. Okay, I'll, ask, I'll ask politely, please, step forward. No, well, thank you. <clears throat> At least you have manners now. And the three of you, again, you're not face to face, but you're just a little bit more closer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he says, on instinct, without thinking, I want each of you to tell me your favorite color. Green. Purple. Black. Hmm. Seems in one short exercise we've described that everyone likes, appreciates, and cares about different things. On a grander scale, of course, gods have different ideas of what is right, what is wrong, what is appropriate for progress. That creates friction, of course. Not as jovial as liking black or green or blue or purple, but those disagreements can grow and continue to grow and get to a point that the way that you fundamentally look at life and what the future may bring, and for some of us, we will be there to see it. What that future shows versus what the future that we're being told, if they're too far away, sometimes you inch your way over and take it. And some of us don't like the way that Father is inching us forward. I'm sorry. And he says that to Freya. And she's like disappointed. Like she's not yeah. mad. She's just like. Hmm. Seems like y'all should have discussed this before you got married. So it's, it's instinct. It's who you are. It's instinct. It's who I am. I'm still confused on what the progress end point is. You say you don't like the way Father is inching forward, and you want to inch in a different way, but what's the end goal for either of you? Like, do you want to take his place in a sense? Oh, no. No, he would squash me like a blood, like a bug, but... Um... Or do you, or what you're wanting is more violence in the world, or more power or what is because I, I can't speak to soul's mind but what you, is you will all you are for the most part examples of exactly what I don't want so damn we mortal <laughs> weak power I was going to say power the the power the powerful if I'm if I'm going to follow you <clears throat> correctly here the powerful deserve the right to take what it is that they can have by their might. If somebody wants right. something and they right. can right. if they can manifest it into existence by sheer willpower and strength then they by all rights should have it. Am I somewhere in the ballpark? You're all made from flesh for the most part. I, I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see a future of much stronger beings. It's nothing personal against you all, but clearly I was overtaken in these ideas as you all stand before me. But I wanted more in the image of 
some of the children that we have created already. Um, so you just want stronger beings to exist through sheer carnage and trial by fire. Uh, why not? I mean, that's the term, I believe. I mean, don't... Do you do you all not have any sort of carnage or trial by fire where you're from? There is a it's difference in living with trial by fire existence. It's tests at universities. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry. But there's also a difference in understanding that if a child does not need to go through trial by fire just to exist. It's not the most important thing. And that's the disagreement. That's mm. the purple to your green. Mercy has no place in the reality you'd like to see. Oh God, no! Mercy is important. Mercy is the breaking point. But it's not mercy. It's cruelty. Depends on the uh, depends on the perspective. So it depends on who has the power. Which is or why I cannot imagine a future of fleshy beings like yourself. You have no armor, you have no, you have no scales, you have no strength. How does that fit with your wife? You clearly love her, you're with her, you're connected to her. Mm-hmm. Is she stronger than you? In many ways. Then should you not be beholden to her ideals? By, by your own morality? I am in many ways. And I believe in the creation and fertility. I believe in the love for one another. But I disagree. I disagree with the peace part of it. I want to fire off a divine sense. I thought you were about to say something else. So yeah, I was like, (laughs) oh, that's coming. That's coming if I get a particular answer. I didn't. Okay, this is one of those classic scenarios where you see I'm not, I'm not I'm not itching for a fight, but I want <laughs> I want a, I, I'm firing off a divine sense. Am I looking at a man or am I looking at a god? And I know that I'm looking you know, just hear me, like is he a fiend, is he whatever? I mean I would Look imagine he's face. a celestial Never know. He's got to go deep into the files. Oh, yeah. no, he, he already, he already betrayed yeah. his kind. But no, he's got to go deep into the files to get the malice <laughs> stat block that he's created. He's like, what exactly is he? <laughs> deep dive. HP. You were looking, you were looking <laughs> at a being that is both a celestial and a fiend. Fuck. <sighs> Can you tell that uh, if Freya is just celestial? Can you tell that? Or is, yeah, is it just I, it's, one it's anything within range, so I would be able to tell Freya too. She is celestial, and it's like a like big menacing energy coming from him. You're you're almost seeing like a different looking face, looking back at you, almost that of like a Balrog or like a like a demon. <laughs> Shit. I mean. Is Freya capable of crushing him now? Why would you ask that? Well, you're actively killing her in the time that I'm from. And you've already adopted a fiendish nature. I'm presuming in following Orion or whenever else. You're not entirely celestial. So you're already changed. You're not what you were, I don't believe. You're right, I've evolved. Is that so, technically mm-hmm. evolving? If you started as the highest being to ever exist and then becoming something you created? Yes. I mean, I guess. But I if, if your wife is more powerful than you and you are beholden to her, and I know this is not in Freya's nature, but hypothetically, couldn't she snuff you out like a candle before you turn into a wildfire? It's a very good analogy. <laughs> she could, but she won't. Can you convince her 
Persuasive. And <coughs> Freya looks to him and then looks at all of you and she confirms. I will. The evil, the evil you speak of, he's not committed in my eyes yet. I do not believe in justice before crime has happened. God, God. God you're confusing. You know it's going to happen, but you won't do anything to stop it. But then you make your beings that you create do stop you, it for you. for you. But if there's a lesson... Man, y'all are confusing. ...to be learned or any sort of forgiveness to take place, you can't forgive someone for something they haven't wronged you with yet, you know? But if you can't change the timeline, <laughs> unless you're the primordial ones... But, and she, she has done it. And she knows that he's done it. She can see in her future. I mean, there's, there, we're, we're not getting anywhere. This is a circle. I'd yes, rather not I die by the time stone. I'd say that energy gun that you're using on your brain for your body. For yeah. Like, do we need to do any fighting yeah. with the potential gods we're talking to? We're not going to fight them. I need some calories. They would kill us and there is no sense. sense. The very it's source of my right. power... As, I, was it, gonna, I was gonna play on that. Like, when you cast Divine Sense, like, you guys all see, like, this energy flow out of Freya into him just for him to go <laughs> <laughs> it's like he just like farted out yeah, yeah just like a divine sense little puff <laughs> like, just, like, but it came from her bit. like you're literally seeing it like better I like to think that it's like four times as strong and just <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's she's she seems to be in a in a in a state of Uncertainty. Your God is confusing, my friend. She loves, but mm-hmm. she won't love her people enough it's... to stop the act from ever happening. Mm-hmm. So I therefore, think, no, you I must go through. We I must. It's not enough. I think it's too. It's loving it's for abundance for like. So, Freya is going to gets it. stand up from kneeling by the fire and walk over to all of you, sort of look at all of you. And she wants to extend a hand to Callan. She does the other one as well. <laughs> she, puts her hand, she puts her hands in yours. And like, kind of like closes. And as she does, you, you feel this like warmth going all the way through your body. And she says, you got, no one else hears this, by the way. This is just a connection between the two of you. She says, I do love you. And I love your ancestors, those with us in it, and those that pass. And Callan Shazera, I forgive you. And as she says that, the bracers that have been against your skin for your entire life after the event of what happened to your brother just disintegrate and fall to ash onto the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> he wouldn't know what to do in that mm-hmm. moment of like because you would see that they're gone and there's holes in his arms from where the bracers would stab him but like that's how they were affixed to him mm-hmm. Malcroft will walk over to you and put a hand on your shoulder and say as we say in our time to people who have been blessed by Freya you are loved. You are loved. This is very contradicting. And then you watch Freya turn yeah. and walk towards Malice. And you hear her just whisper something into Malice. You don't hear, sorry, you don't hear her whisper. Yeah. You see her whisper yeah. something into his ear. And we're going to keep your natural 20 alive for this insight. Thank God. Do you watch his eyes go from like this cocky sort of like I'm always in control. I know what's going on. To scared. Actually scared. And she turns to the rest of you, not looking at him anymore. She says, You will be going now. Goodbye. And just as as she says that, he he just sort of like slowly backs up from this fame without saying a word. And walks away. I bow to her and 
I'm the first one out. She says leave. I'm fucking leaving. <clears throat> uh, I'll leave too. <laughs> I big bow and then I'm out. Do you want me to tell you where I'm Thank you, you for your feel time. Yeah, thank you. Carol's not listening to anyone. I'd imagine Carol was still standing there, like just staring at his arms. She definitely told him something like, get the fuck out. Like, I'm coming for you. Something like that. This is out of character, obviously. Can I try? I was about to, I was about to respond as Freya if you were saying that. No, <laughs> yeah. that's why I have a voice. So that you know when Isadora is Can talking. I try to see if I heard it? Absolutely. I'm, yeah. Um, well, I guess we're not twenty for it, but not for insight. You can do a, a perception check. Okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Anybody who's trying to hear, I guess. I'm not trying to hear, but perception. after everyone leaves, yeah, once everyone is left, yeah. I would be paying attention to my arms. I would do a forehead yeah. bow, like all the way down, and then I would leave afterwards. Seventeen. Uh, oh, we got fifteen. Okay, 18. Anyone else do it? Yeah. 19. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to. I wasn't paying attention to the fucking all. 19? Yeah. <laughs> so no. close. Yeah. You. We'll say with the 19, you don't catch what was said specifically, but sort of like a patchy radio signal. Um, yeah, you catch you like, other word? Yeah, you catch like pieces of it. And the main thing that you're able to pull from just being able to sort of like turn your little ear. Yeah, I'm assuming like the animal ears. It kind of like. I'm getting yeah. the radio signal. The du- yeah. Yeah, the you hear her like like and then you say she you hear ever again. And that's what you hear as she just turns and says, You will be gone. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so all that. you know is whatever she said, it ended with ever again. And if you would have rolled just one more higher. Oh, <laughs> just one more higher. I should have been casting the hits. Um, Wait. Oh, yeah, never mind. It's not a reaction or anything like that. And that would be it's going, the, oh. So don't you have... I the plus Do we roll your plus six? Yeah, yeah because saving throws. Damn. Uh, enhance ability? Yeah. That's not saving throws only, is it? No. I was saying... But you could have enhanced ability for intelligence checks for perception. I could have, but like yeah, I'm not in what staring down Freya and Mouse. I'm not going to go enhance ability. Like right, 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 right. I was gonna say, you said earlier, like <coughs> in advance, if anyone does anything, say this first. So I was just, I know. you Maybe can still do that them. if you want. I would like to know what she's at. You don't have to. If if thematically it makes more sense that you would be so like focused that you wouldn't yeah. think to do this spell, that makes sense. I would. Actually, yeah. on my way out, just kind of turn back to Freya. And smack her ass. Good call. Yeah. Um, Fertility. Fertility. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no one is so stupid. <laughs> um, I'll show you some lay on hands. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and just ask her, back there. How, do you, how do you live with knowing the person that you love the most betrayed you? What the Ooh. fuck, Hannah? No, 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 no. Not like in an accusatory way. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, okay. She like, like literally like advice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I'm asking for advice. Okay. I'm like, like, how dare you do with yourself? No, no, just, no, no. To, just to do a reset there without Mandy's reaction, why don't you say that again? I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> to be in character. Yeah. So like almost like hurt, right? But just how do you live knowing the person you love the most hurt you the worst? How do you live with that? My girl she, blessing everybody today. And she, <laughs> she, unlike with, with Callan, there's no like warmth, there's no magical energy. It's just her hand. Mm-hmm. And she looks you in the eyes and says, I forgive them. Betrayal to yourself. It only hurts if you feel betrayed. If someone hurts you, child, that is their mistake, their burden, not yours. Forgive them. Show them compassion. I don't know if I'm strong enough for that. If you're not, lean on me for strength. And if they fail you, again, after you've forgiven them and shown them compassion and love, offered them peace, and you tell them something, 
you tell them I will end your very being if I see you ever again. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I think I know she's what she said. I think I need to, well, Cody yeah. McClare knows. She's going to smile. Only Farian knows. And then she'll, yeah, she'll nod. And she kind of smiles well, and nods back. Yeah. She says, I, that, I never told her what she said. We'll, I heard it. We'll take care of him. I want to hear that. Thank you. And I don't mean malice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Thank you, Toya. Mm. Ooh, she'll kind of like just nod her head again and walk out. I want to. As I'm leaving, once I've cleared the thing, I want to like kneel down. Is it like dirt, grass? What's the ground look like? What I what I want to do? Yeah, is I like, think it's all. I think it's. I, I'm trying to remember how I described it last time. So it would have been the same, just nicer. I think it's all like marble floor. I think it's mm-hmm. like outside. Like, I'm talking. Oh like yeah, grass off of the. Yeah, it's like a dirt trail that they've been walked, but it's grass. It's like a. It's like a hill. I want to pick up if there's like loose gravel or like. Some kind of like a palm stone or something. I want to pick it up. As you're outside, you do you all notice that it starts to like kind of drizzle and starts to rain a little bit. I just want to pick up a piece of like this land in this moment when I got to meet Freya before it, mankind was created and just put it in the bag of holding. It was just like a memento of this moment. That's it. Anyone else? Yeah, real quick. Um, I'm just going to go up to her. It's real quick. No, I just thought it was funny the way you said it. It's like, yeah, but just like real quick. <laughs> Your girl real needs quick. a blessing. Hold on. Real, real quick, Wally. Um, before I go, is there any fruit or vegetables during this time? It's not making me laugh. <laughs> that I need to get, because I'm quite hungry. You're making me laugh. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> she won't know what's going to eat. Uh, by by the way, people are all leaving, and, and we hear, she's asking a god about fucking food. <laughs> I if told y'all, before we left, I was hungry. And I'll turn to Callum, if there is any goddess in existence to ask for food. <laughs> I've learned. Um, you can forage. Mm-hmm. Or you can hunt. Either one. There is. I'm not supposed. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> Fred's dog comes stumbling through. <laughs> An old withered dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was on. I saying? Oh yeah, you can hunt. There are. You know, I shouldn't tell you this. Mm-hmm. Continue. But there are a large number of beings on this on this world right now. Mm-hmm. That in a matter of moments will cease to exist. You're not helpful. <laughs> but thank you. I already have that intel. I just mean there is no fault if you take the life to feed. Mm. They're gonna die anyway. Freya's saying, yo, if you want to eat something you're literally never gonna be able to eat again, eat now, girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she's saying. She's, eat a dino. Dino. <laughs> she's like, if you want some stuff you'll never get again, eat now. Alright. That's funny. Well Good luck putting your ex husband behind a gate. I wish you best. I don't know. Leave it on that. Smart. Not you. <laughs> Guys, right. I need to eat a dinosaur. <laughs> so, you all have 33 hours left. Mm-hmm. Takes about eight hours or so to get back to I the ark. I say we just go back. I don't like that. I say we go back and hunt Is this the temple the above the trees? So What's that? Is this temple above the trees? Yeah, it's like on a hill. I Is mean, it's probably close see? to the tree line. Is there anything we see else outside? Oh, is the same lake there? Because we walked around a lake to get to it in the Feywild. Is that lake there? This is not the Feywild. 
Okay, so that lake's in the middle. The lake can transport as well. Is there anything? Can I roll a perception to see if there's anything in the vicinity yeah. of this temple? Yeah, roll roll perception um, to see if you're. What are you looking for? I guess. Just anything of interest. You said we have 33 hours, so I'm trying to see if anything of interest. Within 33 hours. Yeah, it's uh, 18. Eight days. Any magical caverns, some sort of items on these? Yeah. Uh, Any juicy looking fruit? No, man. Uh, 23. 23. No one cares about my hunger. There are. You see it kind of in the distance, and again, it's. I would say it's starting to get towards dark nighttime um, as you guys traveled all day to get here. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's raining. So. if you wanted to all climb into like a jeep or something and like drive, um, <laughs> might be a good time to do that. As long as I have a cup of water, like I'm dad. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. If you guys have like a like a clear glass of like water, um, just make sure to hold it really stable, like just in case. I like the water. Mm-hmm. Um, but to that point, in the distance, you see some of the trees kind of swaying. So the trees are like swaying back and forth, making a creaking sound like a door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How spooky. And it seems to be pretty in line with the way you guys came in. Maybe it's this. This being is tracking you based off of the way that you came. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the only thing we see on the tree line. What was your total? Yeah, 23. 23. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Um, above the clouds. The only reason you notice it is because the moon disappears for a few seconds as the wingspan of another larger dragon. Mm-hmm. Soars. No. Is it well black? Oh, yeah. Is it black? <laughs> and you see the first dragon ever created. Oh, yeah. And Kagalon. But you guys don't know the name, but. It's a big black dragon. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go back to your. Let's go to the player. Great player. I don't want to cut it short at all. So, mm-hmm. as you as you say that, Anala looks at her, like, uh, wrist piece, and she's she's like, um, <laughs> hold on, hold on, um, we, hold on, this can't be right. Everything's fine. It's already fine, it's already dark. She did say matter of moments. <laughs> um, what'd you say? Freya said, said matter, matter of moments, of moments but then. Oh. We thought that we had 33 hours. Well, I mean, to a god, I mean, hours is kind of like a moment, right? It's like, yeah. On the left, what does your watch say? Maybe it's dark from the show. Oh, no! <laughs> Can I look over onto the shoulder at her little wristwatch and yeah. read the numbers? Like in episode 24. Ding, ding. What you is can. It? What does it say? It says six hours and 30 minutes. We have to run really fast. Can we run? The start. Breakneck We're just gonna keep dashing. Dashing through the snow. How did that happen? I, I must have miscalculated. We have to go. We have to go now. Okay, Everyone, we have to go. go. Okay, let's, let's, okay, let's go. Run scene through the floor. <laughs> do we have to make rolls? Yes. So, the way we're gonna do this. The way we're gonna do this. No. We're gonna make four rolls. No. Fuck. But here's how it's gonna be fun. Uh, because I'm not going to make all eight of you roll every time. That's just going to be redundant. For each roll, you have to pick one person yeah. to roll with their stats. And it can't be the same person for two rolls. What okay. stat is it? What stat is it? I'm not going to tell you. Yikes. Oh, she ah. So I mean, you know, let's to choose Tristan. It them. will be a different... I, know, I will tell you this. Them. It will most likely be a different stat every time, Fuck. depending on the situation because you guys are going across babbling brooks and you're maybe going across uh, other all right so we should pick some scary dinos with some and high other things. okay some high strength so some high for athletics the first roll who do you pick okay so uh, yeah i'm thinking like athletics acrobatics yeah. dexterity i mean i could take a 
I can take a dex one because my acrobatics. I, I, I my athletic is a plus seven. My athletic is plus eleven. Oh, my athletic is plus eleven. Okay. 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 Right. But we don't know if it's athletics. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, Damn it! We also don't know which rule it is, so it really could just be. Yeah. 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 All right. Melikov, do you just want to like kick us off? Sure. You just talk to the goddess. Okay. I'm going to screw All right, Melikov is going to be the first. Are we doing at the pit? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, here's your roll. Yeah. Uh, we're not What's using those shades, shitty dice. Oh, okay. Okay. No, you oh. I put that there just to put a six so that at the start of the okay, game you can roll. remember how Callie came back. <laughs> so, for the first roll, this is a matter of memory. Now, you remember in the dark and in the rain how to get back. So, this will be a history check. Okay. What's your history? What's your history? I think you have a good history. Maybe I want to know. We'll see what it is. We'll see. That's Woo! 17 already. That, that is a. That's a 23. Okay, so it's five. For the first check, <laughs> success. Yeah! Woo! You guys are able to follow. 17 plus five. This 23. Whatever. Or whatever. Are you a teacher? I'm not a teacher. <laughs> yes. No, it's 22. Yeah. 22, my bad. 22. Oh. It's it's fine. You, <laughs> you probably oh. passed one, one less. <laughs> um, but you you guys are following this glowing, like, literally blessed by a god being. Just boom, boom, boom. And for the first leg, you guys are able to go, and you're probably, you're about a little over a third of the way back. My aura is pumping um, you guys up. It's only yeah. been it's only been about an oh, hour and a half. You guys have made up a lot of time. No, it's not uh, a saving throw. Yeah, it's only been about an hour and a half. Ooh. So you guys saved a, a bunch of Who's time. Who's going next? I don't know. I can I can go. I don't so know. for the second of four checks, who's, who's going, going next? Who's going? He's going to enhance ability. I'm going to tap Faria and uh, enhance bless the shit out of me. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna bless you. Yeah, do bless. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bless you. Bless. <laughs> what is that? A plus? D4. D4. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Because yeah, I can do enhance ability, but I don't know what it's gonna be. Right. <clears throat> so we're picking Faria. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Faria, for this second roll. Oh no. <laughs> there is screeching and cawing and claws of. Furious scurrying animals. You hear the flapping wings of pterodactyl flying above you. I need you to make an animal handling check as you guys pass back across hey, the babbling brook. Two. That's better than a. As you pass back answer. across that babbling brook and you see that family of triceratops and, and the mom is protecting their young ones. Oh god. Okay. In a stance, ready to charge. And you got your D four. I got. It. Okay. Okay. That's a fifteen plus. Uh, a one. Sixteen. That's total? Yeah. Yeah. You watch as the Triceratops... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and they coming for you. <laughs> can I... Can I do something for that? If I use... What do you want to do? Can I rage and, fr and run in front of Hannah and... Horn tip it over on its side. Can I cast banishment on it before we get to it? <laughs> Can I just go yes. plus? <laughs> I'll give since the two of you guys already knew exactly which one to do. I'll give you guys like a surprise round, and then depending on how that goes, we might roll initiative or we might we might flee. So, so, <laughs> so my, my my goal is to like tip it so we don't have to fight it and just kind of like veer it off course and okay. tip it on its side so that it's like oh we don't want to fuck with that. Okay, so you rage for the first time. The bracers don't, you don't feel restricted, and it's like, Whoa. Oh, I should just cast them large on you. <laughs> <laughs> still can. Still <laughs> and he, his size doubles his weight and increases by eight times. So you already went from, you already went to large, and now he doubled your size, so. Huge. Huge, huge now? He can, he can grapple anything. Yeah. Wow. Uh, make a athletics check. Actually, we'll make an athletic saving throw. Give him some extra bonuses for the kid. Oh, yeah, add, plus this, six. add six to it. Okay. So, Cause you gonna need it, boy. 26 I don't think he's gonna six. do that. 32! Oh my god! What is it? A 30. Oh! 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 
I rolled a 13 and I gave him a plus 17. It was a 30. And I was like, oh, you're going to need it. And he said 32. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, Thank so what do, do? what do you want to do? So Tell I me. would like to think that Hannah was like, oh, no, oh, no, stop, stop, stop. And then, like, I come up and rage behind as you, Hannah. As you go past, tap. And then he taps me on the back and I rage bigger. And I'm, I don't even, like, go in front of Hannah. I just... <laughs> oh my gosh! And I just kind of, I kind of just scoot <laughs> and then I let everyone else keep running, and then I'll just run after them, and because I don't want to hurt the triceratops. Yeah, triceratops yeah, yeah, yeah. So you like you literally cool. lift him up and like drive him down. Okay. And then just let everyone else run. Yeah, you do that, and you kind of like push him as he rolls because it's big, so it's not even like <laughs> it's like boom, boom. and as it does that. The, the little ones behind, they like kind of scurry and scamper away, and the, it gets its footing back. It looks at you and it's like, mm. and it sees the kids running. It's like, and it goes and runs. And, chases <laughs> it. Yeah, I don't it and you're life. still that big, so I think you're just that big for you're the dinosaur now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're the dinosaur for, an hour, for an hour. So, my thing can last for a minute, so can I pick everyone up and just hightail it as fast as possible. I think you need consent for that. <laughs> yes. Can I pick everyone up and hightail it as fast? I'm almost like... Mm. I'm going to be left behind. be left behind. Oh, good point. Uh, yes, please. Yes. <laughs> 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 so, do, I'll do the next roll, I guess, if you want me to off that. Yeah, I don't think you can do another... Wait. You can't do two rolls. You can't do two rolls. Damn. Yeah, I don't think you can do two rolls. Damn. Oh, you have it. Please roll. Uh, I think you guys all have to decide, but you can definitely do that if you want. Just go and do one. Yeah. Go. yeah. That's fine. Go go Wait, can he can he, he roll? Doesn't have a main roll, no. Oh, he doesn't. That's not main roll. That was just to stop her from going. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Evan. Okay. What's what am I doing, Shane? Oh. One second. Um. This is not a concentration spell, so I'm also gonna fast. tap you on the rump again and cast freedom of movement. Oh shit! Because <laughs> because that's not concentration, so I can concentrate no, on this. I am just wrecking you. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing. I am yeah. the natural disaster. <laughs> can you? God. Because so I would go. You said how much does it double multiply my size? Eight Twice times. Big, you, so your all dimensions of you double. Your weight so increases would, by eight times. So my weight, okay. So I would be about 40 feet tall. Oh <laughs> my god. Because <laughs> I, I go up to about, with the, with the flavor of it, is I would hit the kind of top of yeah. the arm, which is about 20 feet. Uh, 40, so you're 40 feet 40 tall. feet tall. That's crazy. Yikes. All right. All right. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm setting up a scene. Um, it's anticlimactic with a 40 foot. Animal hey, you never know. He could fail his role. No, it gets way cooler. Um, because this check, you guys are running through the forest, and there's essentially, you can start to see where these trees have been waving. And, oh, no. And you're actually noticing that through this path, this is the path you guys came through yeah. the first time, but you're seeing these, like, giant redwood trees that have been, like, knocked over <laughs> in, in the way. <laughs> This one's an athletics check. Hey! I will say though, they have gotten harder every time. No, that's good. I'm good with that. <laughs> All right. Do you have advantage on these? I do, because I'm raging. Yes. yes. I'll tell you ahead of time. It's a 25. Thanks. Come on. Okay. 17. Oh, that's gotta be it. That's gotta plus. be it. Uh, plus, plus all of this bullshit. 25. 25, exactly. 25, exactly. 25 exactly. Do I get these bonuses? No. It's a saving throw. Oh, then yeah, yeah. we're good. 25. 25. Made it. So, big boy's just running in like a hurdle, like a track star <laughs> on a hurdle. Just <laughs> jumps over, and as you do, as you land, um, there's a guy in the background holding a cup of water. As you land, it goes... <laughs> and, 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 um, as you are the dinosaur now. Um, who's going to roll the final check? Now, so far, all three of those, uh, the encounter with the Triceratops, I'm not even going to count that as a fail because you did it. You got rid of it so quick. It wasn't yeah. a combat. Mm-hmm. So you've made up a lot of time. You still have about three hours to get there, and you're only about an hour away. So you have, at this point, with three successes, you've made up all that time. 
but there's still one check left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I will say, they've been progressively getting harder. This is the hardest check. Someone Who are we doing? Else? Could be your moment, baby. No, we all know. Could be that natural 20 moment, baby. Not one max. All right, all right, all right. Here it is. Here. Oh, here. Sorry. Okay, thank you. All right, depends on what you're doing. Yeah, we so, don't know what you're doing yet. So, for this one. <laughs> so, for this one, those trees, they got knocked down. You find the source. There's three Tyrannosaurus Rex. No! You guys are strong. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's three Tyrannosaurus Rex, and they're standing in the path as this <laughs> giant, huge version of Kalan is just running through with all you guys in his hands. I guess. Oh no, it only lasts a minute. That wouldn't you wouldn't have been raging, but you're still double in size. Yeah, I'm still you're double still in size, so I'm still big, but I, yeah. my rage would have ended. I'd have yeah, been you guys out. would have all been running. So you guys are all running beside him now after he did the big jump. And um, and you see the three of them, and Kehana, you're faster than the rest of these folks as you as you're sprinting and you see them first and you come to a sliding stop and it's either we're not a threat or we're a threat it's persuasion can i uh can i help her depends on what you're trying to do i want to summon celestial and i want to summon a planetar behind her a giant winged celestial being yeah. just floating behind her just, just to help persuade them. Persuade them. I feel like get out of the way. way. Or does that intimidate? Uh, yeah, them? That's I a different check. It. That's a that that would help with intimidation. You can still do that. I'm not saying you can't do it. What's, but I don't know if it's gonna. Better. I don't know if it'll get advantage. Okay. Depends on. I will say. I'll let you. You can do it one of two ways. You can either roll first and then role play based off that roll uh -huh. if you do it well or bad. Uh -huh. Or you can kind of tell me what you want to do or say or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then roll, and I'll and I'll let you know based off of what you said whether or not the planetar, like the the celestial being, gives advantage or not. It depends on what you want to say at this moment. That's what I'm asking. Um, yeah. Before. If I, it was intimidation, immediately. But this one was chosen was specifically to be a little interesting to let you kind of whoever got selected. They're the same. Roll. They're the same. Oh, okay. Persuasion and intimidation are the same. So you got plus six. So if you want to intimidate. Yeah, I might as well just try and help. That's going to help even the odds. Whether or not it's advantage, it might do something. So. Okay. So, how do you persuade these three giant Jesus. beasts? She has no idea what the hell these things are. None of y'all do, no. We were like, what the hell? They got sharp teeth and big stomachs. So. And it looks like they're going to eat us. <laughs> hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Look out. I mean, you kind of like so. to fight them. I am hungry. She did say she was hungry. She didn't say she was hungry. So, what are you looking to do? We have time. Um, we do. We have three hours. We're doing at the time. Can I roll first and then tell you? That's yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can role play it that way. Because I don't. I don't know yet. Depends on how. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was it? Bad. A one. Oh. It was a one. Yes. Wait, how bad? Uh, it was one. One. Oh, plus, there's no way. Plus that fail. Plus six. Nope. That doesn't matter, unfortunately. Yeah, that's so it doesn't matter. See, it wasn't me! I would like to instantly no, okay. rage again. Doesn't matter. However, you can still tell me what you wanted to do, role playing it as a one, for the for the laughs and the comedy. Or <laughs> or to real life try to convince me that the Planetar helps with the I persuasion as advantage. Party. It's, it's, a, a, it's, a, it's a giant buff yeah. angel man with a sword and wings that's like 14 feet tall. Oh. Let's see if I have anything to do. Okay. <laughs> Take out your sword, babe, and just be like fist bump to the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you and me. But like the one is that you miss? Yeah. Yeah, fist bump. I should have Realizing that you rolled bad, she's like, we're not going to get out of this situation. No, but I didn't Um... What did she do? I don't know. Do I know that thing's behind me? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would have cast it like kind of above and in front of you, so you know it's there. She's very overwhelmed. <laughs> Three T Rexes, Jesus. How big are like how big are the T Rexes? Huge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, she looks at the T Rexes. She looks at y'all, and she's like, "Well." Supposed to start out. Let's go. 
And we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Cause there's no, there's no <laughs> way she can intimidate them. They're t- she doesn't even know what are these we about things to roll, are. Roll and seeing her grab her sword, I'm gonna drop the celestial. Yeah. And I'm casting enlarge on both of them. On Kehana and on. Well, I guess we're fighting because. Yeah. So I will I say before we start the combat, it's like five o'clock. Does, <laughs> is it cool to start combat or do people gotta go? Because if not, this is a good place to stop. So we can start at initiative for the next yeah, next session. I mean, I'm good. Because this will probably. I'm still have my mom though. I mean, I don't know about y'all. I know, but there's also you got yeah, kids, so you got kids, you got you know. Yeah. Just let me know. Because okay. also, like honestly, this is if there was a time to stop, this is the perfect yeah. time before yeah. combat. Because then we can just start back up at the top of combat rolling initiative. Well, yeah, we can going. do that. That's fine. So, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and end it here as yeah. the T Rexes are like, like they sort of so like unlock their jaw for that crazy yeah. fucking. Uh, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> 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 we can record Ryder doing it. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. And and then put a in, like a video of him at the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so we'll end there, and okay. we'll pick up in two weeks with a dino battle. Wee. Hell yeah. Oh, I guess we can. I thought I could guess.